I know. I know. The board's right there. I know. That can't be comfy. And hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Dana, how well... All right, there's some glare. All right, so I'm how long this. till people complain that I'm blocking it? Oh, that's all right. I'm going to be the one blocking it for most of it. As long as it's you and not me. Yeah. Okay, you girls be nice. Asriel, you be nice. You have a lot of people watching you. You be nice to Bear. And don't knock the board down, Bear. Hello, hello. No I saw that. Now, everybody behave. There's a lot of people, so I don't be no a jerk. Snacking. No, nope. I can't read all of the comments. No <laughs> so <Cool>. behave. <laughs> Be nice. Sportsnet doesn't have that. They don't have cats in the background trying to smack people. I know. See? Mm. All right. Yeah, Azrael is a troublemaker. There's no bunnies to nudge us right now. They're all having recess outside right now. So. Yep. Sportsnet should have cats, right? Everything is better with some cats. Then people wouldn't be so upset. Okay, Maple. <clears throat> hello, hello. We are having a good day. We we like slow mode. I've been doing videos all day, and she took the kids out to Castle Fun Park. I so. did. I took took the kiddos to the arcade this morning. Where can you watch it? Um, it's on Sportsnet, isn't it? Yeah. Um, now online. Uh, I don't know if you have mm. to be. I think you have to be on Sportsnet now. I don't know if there's a free way to stream it. Um, that might be a little bit tricky. Is Buffalo making a trade today? I would imagine they're trying. The the Apparently, there's a ton of trade talk all over. So Nice jersey choice, Shannon. Let's go blue. They have three picks today. So since they had three picks, I thought, all right, well, St. Louis is probably going to be up for 10% of the live stream anyways. Can you do a video about Dylan Larkin and how he isn't overpaid? Wings fans keep complaining about his, his deal compared to Meyer, Dubois, and Horvat. I'll do. I'm going to do videos as we get into the summer on the various uh, contracts that have been signed and compare. Um, I don't know. The one thing you have to keep in mind is each team has an internal cap. So you may see a guy get paid a little more with one team than another. But the internal cap number is, is the more important thing. How is he paid relative to his teammates? What a week and ahead draft next three days, including Canada Day and awesome money in the bank pay per view as well. Acknowledge your tribal chief, Shan. It's going to be a busy weekend. Okay. Capital is going to grab Aaron Rodgers at number eight lock. I have a feeling this is going to be a good day for me. Every day is a good day for Batman. Okay. I'm just warning you all right now. It's already hard for me to keep track of the super chats. Yep. It's not going to get better. What do you see the Leafs doing with their defensive core this offseason, maybe moving on from one one of Timmons and Giordano? You know, what we've seen so far from Tree Living, he seems to want to keep things together, and I, I think he wants to keep Giordano. Uh, he knows Giordano from his time in Calgary. I don't think Giordano's going anywhere, but, I mean, since Hall's likely on his way out the door, they're going to have to add on the blue line, but they're going to have to <clears throat> add for pennies on the dollar. It's going to be a challenge. Is Peugeot a fit for the Preds? Trotz is familiar with him and said today they need centers. Isles also needs a clear cap. Well, the Islanders are hoping to move Bailey. Now, if they don't, and if they end up buying him out, that saves them $2.6 million on next year's cap. So ideally, they'd like to move Bailey. I think that's the first plan. I don't think they're moving Peugeot. Uh, the Preds want to make a big splash at today's, today's draft, though. Do you see Chicago moving the 19th pick? I, I do believe that's in play. I think a lot of the picks on this board pass, past, I would say, past number four, it's anybody's guess. It feels like those top four we know are going to get taken. And then fifth and beyond, once Montreal's pick comes up, it's anybody's guess. Which team do you think moves down at the draft today? Uh, Montreal's talked about it, apparently. Uh, but it'd have to be, you know, a pretty, pretty hefty price to make that happen. I think the Canucks are willing to if they can get the guy they want later on. And we'll see. I, I do think we're going to see a very active uh, uh, trade, or I keep wanting to say trade deadline. Very active Not draft <laughs> when it comes to trades. Hey, guys. Been a while. Happy draft day. Happy draft day, Harrison. Do you think the Oilers will trade to get a first-round pick? 
I don't know that they need to. I, I mean, they're in a contending position now. I don't know if they have pieces oh. to move that a team would want for a first-round draft pick. Well, the Avs use their two first-round picks and one of their defensemen to move up into the top 10. Uh, the Avs... Uh, I, I don't think that 27 and 31 are going to be enough to move up very much in the draft. They may try to move up. I would think 27 and 31 might move you into maybe, say, like a Chicago spot. And then if you're going to move into the top 10, it has to be a hefty price you're paying because this is a deep draft. What do you think is next for OEL and JVR? <laughs> um, bargain contracts for both, and they'll look to go to a team where they have a chance to win the cup. Strickland reporting Michkov was getting red flagged for character again by teams. Sounds more like Shirks going with Smith. Uh, I've heard that with Michkov. I, I've heard that with Michkov for a while. That's why my initial feeling was he might go as low as maybe eighth in the draft. You have a three-year contract in the KHL, and he doesn't interview well. So it's possible he slips. Is Michkov really being overly team selective? I don't think so. He was supposed to meet with a bunch of teams. There's been conflicting reports about how many teams he talked to. Um, of course, there's the whole Caps thing, but he's not even going to come over for three years. By then... You know, we don't know what Ovechkin's status is going to be. Oh, thank you, Lars. Yeah, so Lars is saying, if I miss your super chat, which is absolutely possible once it gets ridiculous, it skips around and makes it impossible for me to find the super chats. Um, Lars messages me super chats when I miss him. Remind me to give Try. Lars sometimes, a 20% bump on his Sometimes pain. it's it's a pain and I will miss yeah. things either way. 20% bump for you, Lars. Thank you so much. <laughs> do the Blues use all three of their first round picks? I kind of hope they do. This is a deep <clears throat> draft. And if you look back at like 03, the teams that have multiple picks in the first round did pretty well for themselves. Going to any Vancouver uh, Abbey games next season. There of are course. six. There are six Vancouver Canucks games that are on nights where there's four or less games in the NHL. So I'm hoping to make it to, I'll say, four. And I'm hoping to make it to three or four regular season games for Abbotsford as well. I'll go to lots of Abbotsford She's games. definitely going to lots of Abbotsford. <laughs> what is the likelihood the Blues move their later two first-rounders? I bet they get some defense. It's going to depend who's there and whether or not what they're being offered is worthy of them moving on from those picks. So we'll see. Marner, 1.5 million retained, 28th overall pick to Canucks for Besser, and 11th overall pick to draft Kobe Barlow. Thoughts? I think Barlow is a perfect fit. I, I think the Leafs say no to that. I don't think Marner's going anywhere. Can't see it. Uh, let's all take a drink every time Shannon says bonk. There's there's oh. a guy named Bonk that could oh, go okay. in the first I was round. Like, bonk? That makes more sense. So I really, yeah, I thinking, that's I really want really to see say. him on a team I cheer for. The problem is Boston and Dallas are not drafting in the first round, and he's likely to go in the first round. So mm -hmm. I've got my fingers crossed he either drops or the Canucks come out of nowhere and go, yeah, bonk, and they just walk away from the <laughs> – just go up there and go, bonk, <laughs> and then just walk away. That would be great. Just drop the jersey on the stage, and he can come up and get it. Bonk. <laughs> drop the jersey. Does, Patrick Galvin revolutionizing how guys get drafted. Does Detroit use number 17 in a trade? I would think that a lot of the teams that have multiple picks. So I was thinking about wearing Detroit for this, but I thought no, St. Louis has three picks, Detroit has two. Uh Detroit, I think, holds on to this one at nine. I do think 17 could end up being in play. But it'll be interesting because of course that was the one the Canucks had that they traded to get Bronick. I saw the question already. No, we will not be showing the TV screen. No. We would like to keep our channel. Yeah, copyright says so no. So you won't be seen or so hearing. If you the show TV. footage, they have the option of copyright striking, and if they do, I can't live stream. And if if you get two copyright strikes, you can get them. Yeah, you're you're in serious trouble. So, um, I I don't mess with copyright strikes. Mm. How come teams aren't allowed to trade cap space the same way picks still creates a 50-50 revenue split? Because then you're in a situation where a team buys out a contract and then they trade the remainder. So that that just doesn't work. Uh, you're basically <clears throat> having teams allowed to just trade off their penalty. The penalty has to stay. Crazy trade idea, Gibson to Kane. Uh, if Gibson moves, I think it'll be this summer. I don't know. I mean, the Canes would be a perfect fit because Gibson's in his prime. Uh, I don't know if... I mean, how you'd make that work as trade partners, we'll see. What walk-up song should they play when Tree Living returns to the draft floor? Um, I think they should all use Why Can't We Be Friends. <laughs> 
What do you think of the idea of the Isles moving Bailey plus a pick to Chicago for Vaitsev as a Mayfield replacement? Ba Bailey's issue is that he's he's on the older side of things. His production's dropped off, and it's a $5 million cap hit. We have seen how hard it is to move cap money. I think they'd have to throw in more to make that work. Uh, will Michkov be a cancer signed a Caps fan? I don't know about that. I mean, there's there's definitely some some hockey players that can be ornery individuals that end up having really good careers. It, it's about how they are on the ice. You can handle him being a jerk off the ice <clears throat> as long as he's performing on the ice. You know, in Vancouver, they always talk about Miller and how ornery he can be. Hey, as long as he's producing, I don't care. So that's the thing with Michkov likely as well. What if the Canucks trade Demko and Besser for Hellebuck? Why would no. they do that? She's no. in favor. I am not. I mean, I like Hellebuck, but that seems silly. I don't think I don't think that trade really works for either team either. No. Because that's a ton of money well, then going to Winnipeg. I would just say, well, for the Jets, I mean. I I, I don't know. And then Hellebuck, <laughs> would he want to play in Vancouver? I believe Hellebuck's American. He's probably going to want to go to an American team when his contract's up. Bedard for Fantilli, Zegris. McTavish. McTavish, 24 first. It'd be a little bit steep. Yeah, I, I am looking forward to once this pick's been made and Bedard's officially a hawk, that all of that goes away. Can the Islanders make a move for Debrinket or another big piece? Uh, the, the good news for them, if they wanted to bring it, is Ottawa is going to be looking for a hockey trade. So they're going to be looking for assets, not just futures and draft picks and whatnot. Uh, there might be a hockey trade there, but it's going to be very expensive to to get to bring it. And I think that's going to be the, the the tricky part. Are you going to tool in October? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I had forgotten that I was a part of the tool army. And that they had the pre-sale until a friend of mine on Facebook posted he got the tickets. And I was like, oh, right, the tickets. And then, yeah, she watched me get the tickets. Yes. Which is good. Shannon hasn't ever seen him live, so that's nope. great. I have. <laughs> what has been the best trade so far this offseason? And do you think an NHL player will be traded tonight in a package for a team moving up? We're definitely, I think we're definitely going to see NHL players being traded. Uh, favorite trade? That's that's a tough one. Um, I do think the Penguins made a good move picking up Riley Smith, though. I would say that of of the deals we've seen, that's the one that I think makes makes a lot of sense. What do you think it would cost for the Habs to get a second? Uh, if they wanted second. to move up and get Fantilli, they'd have to offer a pretty strong deal because Fantilli in a normal draft would would be the number one pick. So mm. yeah, if Montreal wants to move up, Anaheim's going to make them pay because they are planning on drafting Fantilli. I used to be a stupid, annoying hockey, hockey fan. You've made me a knowledgeable and not quite as annoying hockey fan. So thanks. Go Hawks. I don't, I don't know if Good I'm Good job so for not being annoying, so annoying. I think I'm They didn't say you weren't stupid. No, annoying. but I am. Just they aren't am. as stupid as I and think, annoying. And I that's think, always a good thing. Because the comment section, you know. Well, they do tell you you're stupid fairly frequently. This is true. It's nice of people gotta, to point gotta that gotta out Gotta stay humble. You. Uh, where do you see O'Reilly ending up? Still possible for St. Louis reunion? I mean, a St. Louis reunion is possible, but with with O'Reilly, apparently the the asking price is going to be high. <clears throat> I don't know if he gets it. Right, last year <clears throat> we saw Klingberg go out on the market. He had this expectation for what he was going to get. We'll see what the market looks like, but it might be a little pricey for St. Louis to bring him back. Doing a July meetup. We have one on Sunday. This Sunday. Uh, coming out from Winnipeg. If so, also my mom just is almost done chemo for breast cancer and watching you cheered us up most days good that is awesome congratulations on that and then we're planning on doing one after this one on sunday we're going to do one two weeks later yeah a couple weeks later in in chilliwack which is in the eastern fraser valley and probably on the saturday very likely uh any chance my flyers get another first to have ammo to trade up for Michkov? maybe trade san hyman Apparently, there's no movement with Sanheim. Friedman said that the Sanheim chatter is really quieted down on the floor. So Sanheim is very likely staying with Philadelphia, at least for today. And things are kind of quiet around the Flyers table in general. So I, I don't think we're going to see movement with the Flyers. That absolutely can change once we start seeing picks. Shannon isn't annoying. He's a dork. This is well documented. That's true. Do you think Riley Annoying. Smith 
will play with the Crosby line or Malkin line or even the third line. My guess is he ends up on the second line. <clears throat> My guess is he ends up playing with Malkin. Uh, who do you want the Canucks to draft at 11th? Any preferred position? Uh, Canucks fans want to see Simashev. Honestly, if Barlow slips out of the top 10, even though he's a forward, I would love to see Barlow in Vancouver. Uh, if Ryan Leonard slips, and I've seen some some prospect lists that say he could, I would love to see him in Vancouver as well. Best player available. Which goalie could Sabres trade for, or are they set on UPL and Levi? Let's go. Buffalo. Well, they still have Comrie under contract as well. So for Buffalo, they have three goalies that they could roll with two of those three for next year. But I would not be surprised to see them try to beef up their goaltending in the offseason. Kuznetsov and a number eight overall to Sharks for number four. That cap hit for Kuznetsov makes him very hard to move. I would be very surprised to see him move at the draft. I uh, don't know why, but I hope Bedard or McDavid start acting like the tribal chief. LOL. That they're they're not the one thing with hockey players is they don't tend to have that kind of an ego that some of the star players there are some that absolutely do, but in general hockey players don't have that same level of ego. Uh, how much of a deficit is the KHL contract till twenty twenty six? Um, I mean the the KHL contract. The other thing is we don't know in twenty twenty six if he's actually going to come over and play. So that might be part of it too, right? If you don't get a committal answer from him on whether or not he's going to come over twenty twenty six. Maybe it's longer than three years. So I, I think just his general opinion of North American hockey and whether or not he wants to come over is going to play a role. Just wanted to say thank you both. Thank About you. two years ago, Yvonne mostly was able to pass on some fabulous advice for purchasing women's size jerseys. And I have since been able to get three. That's awesome. Any follow-up words for the fanatics? They're comfy. They are. So this, is this my That's only fanatics? That's I no, know, you've got but the it's Brent fanatics. Burns, Brent Burns, San Jose Sharks. That's right. I don't really have fanatics. Nope. We really don't have fanatics, so we're not nope. so good at advice for they're, fanatics. They're comfy. Sorry. It's a, They're it's, comfortable. It's One uh, of our boys, we get him fanatics. I'm not a huge too, fan so. of the logos, but if you don't care about the, the embroidered logos, they're really nice. And they're shiny. They're but shiny. For, for women, they're more comfortable because they're... Yeah. Because the big lo logos on the boobage doesn't work very well. I have that problem, too. Big logos on your boobs? Yeah. No, it's kind of a pain. Yeah. Seatbelt. You know what it's like uh, when I'm jogging around doing doing street hockey and all the chafing and everything? <laughs> I can okay. use those tassels, right? <laughs> Shannon, okay. Come on anyway. out on Sunday no, for we don't, a show. We don't need to get this sidetracked. It's <laughs> way too early in the live stream for that. Who do you think the Rangers draft? They're not drafting till 23, so I'm going to go with best player available. And at that spot in the draft, it'll probably be a forward. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to find where I was back there. Okay. Love you guys, Shannon. As a Kings fan, go get Yvonne a Velarde jersey. Oh, I'm already thinking about because a lot of the names I have here are getting traded or going to get traded. So that means I may that get myself I usually a inherit too. them. Yes. A lot of my jerseys are Shannon Did you want the Wheeler ones. jersey now, or do you want to wait until after he's traded? Do I not? Anyways. How does Michkov project? Does he have a higher ceiling than guys like Carlson and Smith? Michkov is an elite scorer. <clears throat> but one thing to keep in mind is he's a winger. Centers will usually get drafted before wingers. So Smith and Carlson are both centers. So Michkov then slides behind. Now, whether or not Michkov ends up being a 40-50 goal scorer in the NHL, that's a debate we can have. But he he does project as an excellent scorer in the NHL. There's just a lot of other uncertainty there. Michkov to Detroit. Make it happen. <laughs> well, that'll be at ninth. I can't see him falling that far. I don't think he gets past the caps if he gets down to eight. Uh, hi, Shannon and Yvonne. Do you have any faith at all in the Blue Jackets returning to the playoffs within the next five years? Of course. Five years, anything five can years. happen. The Canucks yeah. could, um, well, they won't win the Cup, but they, they might get a wild card spot, I, I guess. Anything's possible. <clears throat> Who do you think the Rangers draft? That's, again, at 23, that's that's a tough one. Um, I'll say, I'll, I'll guess a forward, and we'll see in a couple hours. 
Do you think Montreal will take the chance at Michkov? Now, they had the meeting with Michkov yesterday, and if it's leaking out that he's not interviewing well, then it may very well be Montreal that wasn't impressed with him in interviews. So he may drop past mm -hmm. Montreal. What do you think about the Blue Jackets training for Severson and Provorov? I, I think those were both moves that are predicated on the idea that they believe Columbus is going to get back into the playoffs. The one thing is, if Wierenski's back, that's three top four defensemen added from where they finished this past season. They could turn it around. I think it's the goaltending where they have to really focus on making things better. Uh, for the July 15th meetup, if my math was right, I can be there from Winnipeg, where in Chile I will be in the Vancouver Abbotsford area. We're going to be posting it on the Facebook page. I always post the location on the Facebook page. All so, of our meetups, yeah. we create an event on Facebook, on the, yep. the Hockey Guy Facebook page. We always make an event for the meetup so people know exactly where it is and when it is. And if like we get stuck in traffic or something, we're able to tell you guys we're late. Which or I just message happens Lewis. frequently. <laughs> just message Lewis. Yeah, we're late. He's usually there. What do you think of the Devils' moves so far, and do they go after a goalie? Well, it depends. Do they trust Vanacek and Schmid? If they trust <laughs> Vanacek and Schmid, they're good. Um, so that's really something for for Fitzgerald. He seems to be quite happy with what he's done so far. Uh, I do think they'll look to make depth moves, but I think they're quite happy with where they're at right now. Current state of the devils doesn't feel like real life to me yet. Your channel kept my interest in the NHL during a lot of those dark years. They did it right. Uh, the the devils did it right. It took a while, but they absolutely they they did it right this time around with the rebuild. And uh, yeah, they look like a contender mm -hmm. next year. Watch the Coyotes make Derby be a fifty point defenseman and sell for first round pick. I would not be surprised <clears throat> to see Derby Jersey record uh, fifty or more points. He's a very good power play a special teams player. He's not great five on five. If they can improve his five on five play, they got themselves a steal out of LA. Shannon's ability to say the funniest jokes ever and then move on like nothing happened is the best. What did you pay All them to make that? All the time. Shannon you paid somebody just, to leave that comment on the channel? Because he's natural smart ass all day long. Better okay. than a... a Dumbass. There you go. I don't, so Shannon might call me a dumb, a smart ass and I tell him better than a dumbass. But Anyways. And then you finish um, with the aristocrat. <laughs> uh, opinion on, I forget how to pronounce Garen. it, that saying we'll draft for position. I, I think it was just his way of saying, look, we, we can draft whatever we want because we're happy with the depth we've got in the organization. I, I can't find fault in that. They've got uh, goaltending, forwards, defensemen. They've got a little bit of everything when it comes to prospects. Who is named Chicago's next captain? I mean, Seth Jones has a really long contract. I I think Seth Jones probably gets that next captaincy. Uh, do you think Vancouver makes a move on day two? I I I think they'll. I think they're trying. I think they're going to work the phones. I think they're going to be very busy. Uh, I think they'll try to move up, and then in the event that the player that they want is gone, or that they mm -hmm. like somebody who can be there later, maybe they trade down. Do we get an Iser surprise pick tonight? Usually, I would say if they use both picks, um, one of one of either nine or seventeen is going to be a surprise. And usually, with the surprise picks, they work out pretty well. As a Pens fan, my issue with Riley Smith trade is is its band aid on a team with about a hundred pinholes bolstering forward depth won't stop defensive and goaltending DK. Or stars aging. Pens need to stop pushing. It's that core. They are they are forced to because of the fact that Crosby, Melk, and Latang have all stayed there. They have to they have to go for it. And I, I'm not disagreeing. This is a team that has fallen off, but they have to keep going for it. That's why they brought in Dubas. They feel like he's the best our best chance for them to turn things around. Heard Preds are offering first round fifteenth, Askarov and a second for fifth. Thoughts? That'd be the Montreal pick. I, I don't know that Montreal would take that. That might be one of those ones, again, that as the fifth draft pick is is made, maybe they decide, yeah, we'll take that. But Barry Trotz, it's well known he wants to make an absolute splash at this draft. He wants people talking about Nashville coming out of this. Um, I've seen my the mods have posted it a few times. If you write in all caps or a bunch of emojis, I will not read it. Sure. Um, I'm too old for that crap, so not doing it. 
And uh, she's too old. I mentioned. <laughs> if people are yelling at me, I don't respond. Same with my kids. So if you're rude, sure. I don't respond. <laughs> what do we call the new Kyle Dubas master plan? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know that we've ever seen, cause it was always the Shanna plan in, in Toronto. So yeah, oh, I, I'm not sure. Going on stage. Yeah, here comes it's David scary. Poyle with Gary Bettman. It's a good move by Bettman to go out there with the very popular man in Nashville. A point at him and clap. Like, yeah, you got to, you got to clap. It's a special him. clap. They're all Dvorak booing him though. From Montreal to Vancouver, salary retained solves the three C problem. You know, Dvorak, <laughs> I... Uh, we'll see. We'll see with Dvorak. <laughs> I, I don't know that. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if Dvorak would solve that problem. Those are two popular guys on stage right there. <laughs> well, no, uh, the, the guy on the right, he's <laughs> been the, the Preds GM their entire time. Just Bettman's hated <laughs> so much that the booing <laughs> overshadows anything. David Poyle Vegas versus everybody going to repeat. They're going to try. They're going to do their best. They're going to try. Okay. Do we need to turn that down at all? I don't think so. I, I okay. doubt it's even audible, especially when <clears throat> the, the air conditioner comes on. When will Bettman retire? Oh, He's talked about it. He is. He has talked about it. Uh, I, I think that probably another, I would say another five years, probably another five years. Then he'll probably be good to retire. I think he enjoys the job. I wish they did the lottery on stage at the draft 10 minutes before the first pick is due. Oh my gosh, that would be chaos. That would be, that would be such a ridiculous move. That would be awful. And I think they should show it live on TV so people find out how boring the process is. I think that'd be great. <laughs> be people sitting there with a calculator like, well, what is that number? And then this, why? Uh, no. Was Winnipeg's problems a culture issue over a talent issue? Is that why players like Dubois and Helly want out? From, from what's been said, it sounds like there was a split in the locker room. And that split in the locker room goes back to not just this season, but the previous season. I can't imagine how miserable it has to be two years in a row to have that. I, I would totally understand players wanting out. <laughs> Favorite food we can get in America, but not in Canada. Sonic. We don't have a Sonic up here. I can't eat anything at Sonic. So I can really really bad for you and full hot of dogs sugar. are great Blech. so i disagree i didn't think in and out was that great yeah i'm i'm not I'm, i mean, I, mean I don't okay, mind but... in and out it's okay i mean there's crispy cream which not good either but i mean i mean i don't i don't eat that either there's so... white castle we can get white castle burgers but you have to buy them in the packages and yeah. The little sliders. In is over eight. See, Josh, we do agree on something every once in a while. It's rare, but it happens. Okay, seriously, cats. No. A lot no, no, of no. lot of fans blame the blues last season on the on the defense. What are your thoughts? What do you think needs to be done? Oh, the defense was was miserably bad for St. Louis last <laughs> season. The it really it was it was bad overall. <laughs> Unsubscribing, no in and out slander allowed. It's a burger. There's a Krispy Kreme in it's Vancouver. A fast. Oh, I'm. I know they have them somewhere because they frequently have the Krispy Kreme fundraisers. See, but I thought I always thought but that it was more. I don't eat donuts. I didn't so... think there was actually Krispy Kreme locations. Oh, I figured there was. I figured it was like store bought or something. What a burger! We have what a burger. We have fat burger. I don't know if we have what a burger. I'm sure there is a what a burger. I don't, I don't mind don't... fat burger. <laughs> We were on a roll until he dissed Krispy Kreme. I don't eat donuts. I don't. So, yeah. Eh. But Krispy Kreme is better than Dunkin' Donuts. That was disappointing. Oh, when, when even the staff, twice. when even the staff were like, you don't, don't eat that. You don't try that one. Okay, we won't try that one. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. So <clears throat> even the staff are kind of no. My wife is upset because she's had to work, not because she's not able to watch the draft, but because she's not able to watch you guys watch the draft. <laughs> Oh, there you go. It's kind of like the kids watching people play video games. There kind you go. Of. It's similar. We're like a video game. Uh, I am going to be playing GTA with her, and I, I do want to live stream us playing GTA together. He I think says that be because really I'm funny. horrible. I, she I has am to drive. really bad at video games. I'm she has really, to drive. really bad at driving video games. 
<laughs> I'm then, really And then I'll bad. shoot out the window. <laughs> Get really the cops bad. chasing us and listen to her panic. Oh, Harvey's. I really want to go to Harvey's. There is one in the area, and there I is. would like to try that. Um, It's a nice guitar pecker Renee's got there. As a Jets fan, I'm extremely frustrated with management in the way they want to retool instead of rebuild. How often do you get rid of most of your core and are still competitive? Uh, the, the return on Dubois mm. was excellent. So if they can pull off trades like that, I think they're in good shape. Why is there a guy, a guy with a blue gar guitar on stage? That's Pecorine. Why does he have a guitar? I was not paying attention. Because it's Nashville. Nashville's Music City. Okay. Although, according to the uh, the award show, it's just <clears throat> country music, which is BS. We know it's... Right, we know. We yeah. know bands from Nashville that we like, bands yeah. from Tennessee, but it was all country music. Beautiful jersey, awards. Yvonne. I love this jersey. I was really excited when they finally brought it out to where people could actually buy it. So yep. I, I do really We really both like have jersey. one because we were like as soon automatic. As they I was like, okay, I'm buying one. you one, buying me one, done. Nice, smart ass next to you too. <laughs> Enjoy the draft, everyone. He's pretty cute, so he's got that going for him. Really? You're going to... Anyways. They already know. It's a, I'm not telling secrets. They already know you're cute. They watch you all the time. When That's Seattle gets the... Watch. Totally is. It's not. It is, right? That's why you guys watch him, because he's so cute. Yes. When Seattle gets the draft and awards, we will have to put with as much grunge as we <laughs> we have country this week. So sick of it. Are there still no. grunge acts in Seattle, though? Of course there are. Of course there are. Like technically grunge, like the 90s style of grunge? Of course there are. Didn't but it, yeah, didn't it the evolve country to music, something else? Awful. No offense to country fans. I can't stand it. Mm -mm. Okay, so, oh, there's the Kyle interview. They, they oh, have to show the funny. Kyle interview. Yeah. See, that channel, he has, whatever. has no idea he's talking to. Oh, yeah. There's, this shows their Twitter. They're just super excited that they just happened to walk to yep. him. Yeah, random interview. Please trot snow trading top goalie prospects. Well, there was a time in Boston, there was <clears> a big <throat> snowstorm, and the local news crew interviewed Jerome McGinley. They had no idea it was yeah. Jerome McGinley they were talking to. Uh, I skipped one. Hold just on. referred to him as a local resident. <laughs> uh, what should Tampa do this offseason after the draft? Uh, they're going to have to get guys for pennies on the dollar. There's going to be veterans who are willing to sign in Tampa Bay because they want a chance to win. I, I think Tampa Bay will end up being fine. Okay, the pick is in for Chicago. Oh, Should see? I start writing Connor Bedard now? See, there's a bunch of people saying absolutely they watch because you're so cute. No. I was right. No. I knew it. I've been telling him this for years, and he argues with me every time. I don't know why. I have offered to put up a poll on the no. channel so that people could... Why don't we discuss this? Could answer in this poll how cute they think shannon is and for some reason he doesn't want me to do it and i i just don't know why come on okay which swede will have a surprisingly good season hopefully nils hoaglander new country music is just a bad rock band with a fiddle and <laughs> tom petty said that well that's it's, it's not that far off. There is definitely the country music that borders on There's the pop stars that end up going to country when they can't sell pop anymore. That are Christian. So, all the best to you and warm greetings from Germany. Oh, auf Wiedersehen. That means thank you. It, it doesn't. <laughs> no. Thanks for making some bad days good with your insight and ha ha to all the Hawks and Vegas haters this year. So Connor Bedard is officially a Hawk. Let's be surprised. So now I don't have to deal with those questions anymore about couldn't they trade the number one pick? No. <laughs> what if my team offered everything? No. First time catching a live stream. Go Ducks and go Chargers. Agreed on the Chargers. 100%. I don't think they'll ever win in my lifetime, but hey, maybe they do. Imagine that. <laughs> so, do I need to step out of the way and show I watch people it's for Bedard? the cat sleeping in the background? There are people who ask why this guy's talking on the cat channel. Why is he ruining this cat channel? I mean, look at Azrael. Mm -hmm. She picks a fight with Bear. I put her away from Bear, and so she goes up mm -hmm. and lays down instead in Bear's spot. She is adorable. She's one of those cats that sleeps upside down and with her head turned around. She's got all and... four paws in the air. 
laying like a little shrimp and she's the funniest cat. Yeah, she curls her paws too when she's upside down. And her back her paws, paws too. Curled in. So cute. She's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> Cats are fighting over the mock draft pick. <clears throat> yeah, bears down she's here. She's an adorable me. jerk. That's true. She's she's a sweet kitty to people, and she answers when I call her. So. Well, they all do. But she she does her little the pert noise. pert sound when I I, say, I, Where's I my do baby? that she because she sits out here and howls. I don't know if you can hear her half the time, but she just sits here she's and probably howls calling me because she wants more food. And right. I call her in here, and I'm like, no. You already had breakfast. She would like second and third breakfast. Thoughts on Askarov behind Soros next year? Well, apparently Nashville's looking at potentially <clears throat> moving Askarov. Now, I I don't know how smart that would necessarily be. We'll see whether or not that comes through. But I like Askarov a lot. I, I liked him before he was drafted. I thought Nashville picking him up was smart. Uh, we'll see if he sticks around if they decide to go with that tandem for next <clears throat> year. Chances of Devils trading up somewhere in the first round. Love the work. I think they're willing to, but I, I think with getting Meyer signed and picking up to Foley, I think the Devils are happy with what they've done. Carter Bernard? Who's that? Andy's little brother. Um, wait. You already asked I, me that. I did. Okay, I was just making sure I wasn't getting lost here. Good job. Sweetie. Will the Wild ever get out of the first round? They feel like Toronto until this past playoff. You know, Minnesota, I was really gung-ho about them until mm -hmm. about a month before the end of the regular season, and then it just all fell apart. And I was like, okay, so instead of finishing first, they're going to be third. Well, that's the end of that then, because I knew Dallas would beat them. Um, they're close, and that's the most frustrating place to be is close, trying to figure out what will put you over the top. But artist from North Van, you all know him? Well, of course, all Canadians know each other, especially since the he's biggest problem from we the have is the biggest we problem are. we have is half the kids in Canada are named Connor now. So you yell out Connor in a, in a room, and half the room turns around and looks at you like, "Not you, the other Connor." It's just it's ridiculous. Any miracle for Columbus? Love from Brazil. Well, I mean, if they draft Leo Carlson today, I think Carlson's going to be an excellent pickup for them. And he he's not that far off from being NHL ready. Not only that, but if they get Wierenski back 100% healthy for training camp and beyond, they've picked up Severs and they've picked up Provorov, that defense should be a lot better. Columbus should absolutely improve next year. Who do you think breaks through and wins the Stanley Cup first, Connor Bedard or Connor McDavid? Hopefully McDavid, because if Bedard wins a cup first, that's going to be at least, you would think, four or five years down the road for Chicago before they're in contention. So that will be a nightmare. Hope Chicago wastes Bedard, then blames him for everything, trades him, and has to watch him almost immediately win a cup. Con Smythe optional in a Sunbelt market. They deserve it more than Buffalo did. <laughs> you know, they, they showed for Bedard's little profile what his favorite Taylor Swift song is. Did did one of our subscribers set up what the questions were for these guys going into the draft that they had to answer the Taylor Swift favorite song? Not that I'm going to say the name out loud or anything, but Josh. did one of... Okay, I wasn't going to say it. Because if I see favorite favorite Taylor Swift song gosh. for every single oh draft Oh my gosh, if somebody today, asked me that, I wouldn't even know how to answer. <laughs> you know what? I, I, would answer, I would answer for the wrong artist. I would say you ought to know. <laughs> You ought to know was my favorite song of hers. I wouldn't. I don't. I don't. Sorry, Josh. I still don't know Taylor's songs. As for as for something bad happening with Bedard and his career falling apart, I just can't see it. Shake it off, totally. Number talented. one. That's the only song that I know that she does. It's the only song I know. It'd be really funny if everybody picked the same song. I don't. I don't know. So the first guy listen. asked about it goes, "Yeah, they're gonna ask favorite Taylor Swift song. What did you say?" I don't know. Love story. All right. Well, I'll go with love story, guys. Cool. Got it. <laughs> um, blank space only because I prevail. Covered it. I didn't. That was originally a Taylor song. I don't. I don't know these things, guys. Anaheim Who is drafts, up drafts Michkov. Michkov, my guess is maybe fifth to Montreal, although the, the, the word that he didn't interview well <laughs> could drop him down. One. There you go. <laughs> I loved how McDavid thanked his hot tub. 
Yeah, he did that for uh because uh Biz Nasty told him to do it. Paul Biznat. All right. There's Pat Verbeek, little ball of hate. Oh, well, see, there's a bunch of people on here that know Taylor Swift songs. There we're you old. go. Good for you guys. Yeah, I'm too we're old, old and, and we're don't listen heads. to that so kind of music. Ever. We're metalheads. Ever. Which surprises people. I, that we're I metal heads. always, always, I always get that. Wait, you listen to what? And then I say, what did you think I listened to? Of course, to? anytime we go to a concert and a subscriber sees us, they always look like we got three heads or something. You guys are here. Yeah. Oh, yep. Slipknot's great. They're really fun live, too. Fantastic. So. Hello, the hockey guy and gal. Which NHL teams do you root for? In order. Vancouver, Boston, and Dallas. For her, it's Philadelphia, the Islanders, and Edmonton. She loves orange. That's not true. <laughs> He's making crap up. I like Vancouver, Jets, and Wild. Uh, favorite metal band? Tool. Ramstein. Do you think the Red Wings will make some trades during the draft this year? They're going to try. I, I would think that one of these two picks probably ends up getting moved. I think there's 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 been a lot of talk at the draft. Um, Anaheim's going up to make their pick now. It's going to be Fantilli. <clears throat> Let's act surprised. Don't Do I worry. Surprise I know face? zero Taylor Swift songs. As far as I'm concerned, the best female vocalist to emerge in the 2000s was Angela Gosco of Arch Enemy. There are some fantastic female artists when did now. lizzie hale emerge? there's i don't know but she's amazing there's a her lot of voice my really Lord. good and we're gonna hear her um, voice again within a month artists, so that we're gonna fun. hear her here she's coming be fun uh do you think the wild will move up i i don't know if they're gonna bother trying to move up like if you listen to garen earlier where they're gonna draft by position they're not all that worried about you know best player available as much They've got a lot of prospects, so I, I don't think we're going to see uh, see them moving up at the draft. Metalheads are the nicest fans in the biz. What jersey are you, are you all wearing to tool? Shannon we don't wear jerseys to doesn't to generally concerts. wear. I think you've worn a, a jersey to a concert once. I do remember you wearing a yeah, jersey Yeah, I wore the Red time. Wings. That's right. I wore my Iserman. We also have a lot of metal shirts, which we usually wear to concerts, or I wear... Well, Leo my, Carlson my, goes second. My gothy dresses. I did not dress like this when I was younger. So, uh, okay. yeah. So, a uh, hockey prospect had Carlson going second. Hockey prospect was right. Leo Carlson goes second. <laughs> Fantilli now drops down to Columbus. This is going to be fun. Was it me? But it'd be my first question if I covered the draft. <laughs> so well, we'll weird. see when they talk to Carlson if he has his favorite Taylor Swift what? song. What? A lot of people surprised by that one. He was number two on some draft lists. He was. NH I'm, I'm kind of surprised, but not entirely. NHL are most likely to be moved at the draft. You know, I, I, I'm i not sure who's who's out there that's likely to get moved right now in terms of an actual NHL or on the roster. The phones are being worked. Once we get past, I would say, the fifth draft pick, we'll see some, some movement of some sort. <laughs> Is Orange popular in Idaho? I know Yvonne grew up there. I did not. I most. She was an Idaho spud in high school. I was not. Her her I high school team never, was the spuds. I didn't grow up in Idaho. I never went to school in Idaho. She was a cheerleader I, or spud. I was never a Wasn't cheerleader. Wasn't it a spud a tier? What do you I call that? Definitely not a the cheerleader. The potato gals? I'm trying to remember what your cheerleading squad was called. I was not a cheerleader. I was very not a cheerleader. The potatoes. I'm trying to think of what. No, I. What's your favorite non-metal bands? Oh, oh, bands. Okay, well that that gets tricky. Then. Three Days Grace doesn't quite count as metal, right? They're close. But they're Lincoln not. Park right? Isn't quite metal. There you go. I guess. I'm just trying to songs. think which ones are not quite metal. I don't some I don't ghost songs aren't listen. metal. I, I thought about ghosts, but I know they're considered Nightwish. Metal. They're kind of more, but I mean they're they're still they're still like a mytho like a, a, a symphonic metal. I it's, don't uh, listen to a huge see if it was artists, then I'd be saying styles. Billie Eilish, uh Dua Lipa. Um, and yeah, it's not your so I put those CDs in and I just feel like her <laughs> whole mood changes to great. I'm stuck with this crap for 40 minutes. 
be a shame if we had to stop the van and then it defaults to the radio and Shannon forgets that the CD was on. (laughs) Oops. Okay. Red Wings move number 17 pick to Ottawa for Debrinket. Thanks for everything you do. I don't know if 17 would get it done. I think you'd have to throw in more than that for Debrinket because Ottawa wants to make the playoffs next year. And so I think they'd want it to be a hockey trade. Okay. Hold on. So Columbus is number three on the board. Leo Carlson's gone second, which is a bit of a surprise. Uh, Adam Fantelli should be number three. Do you have any re- good recommendations for female metal artists? There are well, some Hailstorm awesome has a lead singer that's female. Lacuna Coil has the lead singer as female. Fantastic. In this moment, amazing. In this moment, Maria Brink saw them live. They're fantastic. Um, are the Dead, Dead Deads? Deads? Yeah. Dead Deads are more are they, rock than they're metal. They're kind of punk. Metal. They're kind of punk. Um, well, there's always Flyleaf. If you don't aren't familiar with them, yeah. Is Flyleaf still still making yes. new stuff though? Yes. Yes. Just recently they've Okay, I'll see what his stuff. bio says for Leo Carlson. Um, uh, do you think Fantilli becomes the jacket's best player ever? He has that potential. Uh the blue jackets, one thing I've said with the jackets that they've needed is that real superstar player that they haven't really had. So at least going on picking up Goudreau, picking up Line A, they're getting those star players. Fantilli has the, the possibility of being a real superstar. No, I don't like Bon Jovi. Josh. Should Tampa trade for Eric Carlson? If they had the cap space, that would work. They do not have the cap space. And San Jose does not want to eat 50% of the cap hit. Oh, Nine Inch Nails. They're awesome. Nine Inch Nails is great. They're great. Papa Roach. Fantastic. We saw them on our first date. She's a big fan. I do really like Papa Roach. They're newer They were stuff. opening it's for great. a five finger death punch that night. Yes. Best first date ever. But you really liked uh, 6 a.m. You were, they were, they were great. Oh my gosh. That was awful. <laughs> I was laughing so hard because we was both so were. Ridiculous. That was that was the icebreaker that on is, our date. That is what helped us bond because we yeah. were just like, "This is weird. This is so ridiculous." It was the hair flip. Well, and the lyrics of their songs. The lyrics they were are funny. So 80s. they're not supposed to be funny, but yeah, they uh, were very eighties. Okay, did I read this one already? Yes. Okay. Oh, the Strokes are good. The Who is awesome. They would be really fun live. Jack White would be fun live from the White Stripes. Ghost is amazing live. I was Ghost is fantastic live. Not a cheerleader. I really want to be able to take the kids to a Ghost concert. I think they would have so much fun. Yes. They would really enjoy that. The kids do listen to all of our music. Oh, yes. Yeah, Spirit Box. They're great. I would laugh if they didn't have a Fantilli jersey made up. And they're like, we didn't expect him to drop. So this is a Carlson jersey, and it's a little awkward. There's um, John Davidson. Duck Scouts continues to love Swedish players. Some teams do. Just prefer the Swedish players. Um, I don't think his microphone's on. Okay. It's starting to skip around a lot. But we have 6,500 people okay. on the live stream. Avatar. Avatar is a good band. They're newer. You probably haven't heard of them. I don't know. Oh, uh, nothing more. Oh, nothing. Nothing more. more. We've seen twice live. They're fantastic. Really good live. I hadn't even heard of them before the first time I saw them live, and I was like, "These guys are awesome." But they're even better live. They're much better live than studio. If you have a chance to see them live, go watch them. You won't regret it. Trivium, we saw live too. Your kids are going to be Nickelback fans. Well, they are Nickelback fans because Nickelback Nickelback is awesome. So, huh. They do like Nickelback, and Nickelback is in in Vancouver tonight, and can't see them. They're way too expensive. Oh, the tickets were ridiculous. Kitty, I do really like. She's Kitty. a big fan of Kitty. Kitty is great. We do a oh, Volpe. Yeah, we get to go see that concert. I am so excited. Volpe is headlining, fun. but I am there for Hailstorm. I don't have a Hailstorm T-shirt. What is up with that? I just realized I do not have a Hailstorm T-shirt. Do you not? No. You we didn't, didn't get, get t-shirts at that ago? concert. That was our first date. I didn't have money. I was broke back Hailstorm. then. Hailstorm. That wasn't a Or no. First. That was well, Hailstorm. that was the Dead we Dead's concert. We were still later. poor. Look. We still had no money. Okay, Fantilli goes third. Hi, Shannon. Was wondering what you thought about the La Violette and Pekka hires for the Rangers. Also, me and my sister are seeing pink in August. Oh, pink would be fantastic. Very expensive tickets. Um, I think the La Violette hire was a good one. I think that the Rangers 
They're obviously in a position where they're a playoff team. They're trying to get to contendership. Laviolette's had some good runs in his time. And I, I think there's another one there. I think the Rangers have done a good job. Michael Buble is my jam. Awesome guy. Don't listen to his music. It's, it's He knows we don't listen to his music. Yeah. He's a really good guy, though. He is. So there's that. But no, I listen to his Christmas music. Does that count? <laughs> Love the channel. Alice and Chains is goaded. I like Alice and Chains. She's less of a fan. Not, no. But she doesn't like Pearl Jam either. I really don't. Or no. Soundgarden. No. Good the morning. The only one you liked was Nirvana, which oh, I don't yeah. like. From Misawa, Japan. Sorry if I totally slaughtered the pronunciation. You ever heard of Maximum the Hormone? No, but maximum hormones. Um, I've been in relationships with people who have maximum hormones. Not always a lot of fun, but no, uh, that's that's an oh, interesting. Ministry is great. Ministry is fantastic. I would listened love to, to a see them lot live. of ministry in high school. Would absolutely love to see them live. And if they played Breathe, I would like leave my body and my spirit <laughs> would be over the building while they played Breathe, and then you're a goof. Okay. Michigan player going to Ohio State's town. Hey, Fantelli's great. So, yeah, Columbus Columbus gets a good one there. Uh, Kitty is goaded. Kitty's great. Okay, hold on. Trying to catch up. I think I am. Jesus built my hot rod. That's oh, a good song. that one is a fun one. <sighs> um, but for me, yeah, it's still breathe. Breeze absolutely just oh, Ovechkin needs 73 goals to pass, pass Gretzky. Does he do it over the next two seasons? Does Washington make playoffs either year? Uh, Washington's going to be in tough to make the playoffs this coming season, but yeah, I, I think Ovechkin does pass Gretzky over the next two seasons. He did slow down in the second half of this year, so it's something to keep an eye on. Okay, it's skipping around again. So Because there's 6,300 people in the chat. Falling in reverse cover of Papa Roach's Last Resort. My mind was not ready for it. I haven't heard that. I'm going to have to look that, that up because falling in reverse is really yeah, good. Like that. And Papa Roach is awesome. All of these picks look like the same person. They they do look very similar. That's why I haven't been writing the name on the board when they show them celebrating because of the, the air conditioner. I can't hear it. Um, and we have the audio down anyways for copyright reasons. Oh, so, got yeah, they do look very similar. Incubus is great. I saw them. They opened for 311. I think that was back in 98. So now you guys can guess how old I am. Um, and that was, they were amazing. And so I've kind of followed Incubus since then. And they opened and I had never heard of them. And other people there had never heard of them. Because I can remember being in the parking lot. And somebody asked me, do you remember what the name of the opening band was? My first, my first concert was, uh, it was at my, my grad. We had a dry grad. Uh, it was 5440. And we were supposed to give great, or no, the next year they got Grapes of Wrath. I was so jealous. I was like, they got Grapes of Wrath for their, oh, why did we have, to, and I, I like 5440, but I love Grapes of Wrath. Should Joel Quinville ever get a coaching position in the NH NHL again? And should Tampa trade into the first round? Well, he's he's supposed to talk to, to Bettman, I guess. That's supposed to happen. Maybe it happens in July. I don't know. I mean, it, he's that's obviously a touchy subject. We'll see what the NHL does with it. Um, it you know, and at this point in time, has he kind of aged out as being a head coach in the NHL? Uh, Tampa Bay, I don't think tries to trade into the first round. Uh, I think they're they're busy right now trying to make sure they keep Kalorn and Geno. Coheed and Cambria, heavy prog represent. I I do like Coheed and Cambria. The funny thing is, a guy that I worked with, they were opening for Iron Maiden, and he absolutely hated them. And I told him, I said, "Well, yeah, that like I don't know how that worked." I was like, "Okay, who opened for Coheed and Cambria?" That is just, that's oil and water. So I understood him not liking them. I would have enjoyed that part of the show. I just would have left when Iron Maiden was on. Hey, the hockey dude. Who's your wrestling goat? Uh, it's between Bret Hart and Stone Cold. Uh, fans of Ginger? We do like Ginger. We were supposed to see them. We were. Uh, but that was right around the start of the war. Yep. So they weren't um, able to get out of the country. Because they were opening for Slipknot. That was the that's Slipknot concert. right. So... Yeah, that's that right. was that was something. Okay, San Jose's up. We'll see who they draft. That one. 
Okay. Well, somebody says they love Ice Nine Kills. I'm not a fan of them at all. Yeah, it's not, not really my thing, which really? is weird because I love horror movies, but... Eh. No. What's our astrology sign? I'm an Aries and Shannon's an Aquarius. So, together, we create AA. Such a should okay. copyright that. Uh, try Coheed and Between the Buried and Me. Oh, Between the Buried and Me is good. I, I am familiar with them. I think I've heard them on the radio. I think so. If Yeah. Because when we're listening to the radio, it's a lot of metal radio. So. <clears throat> Hold on. I'm just checking to see if it skipped any really quick. So... Hold on, if I'm not saying... Oh, there. Yeah, I knew I missed them. How do they already have the names on the back of the jerseys? Do they make one for every player in the draft? They they make they make the the the, the <laughs> bars the and plates, then they don't the name plates aren't pressed. aren't attached. I think they're just velcroed on. I think they're heat pressed. I think they have. I've a heat seen years where they tried. Just oh, she just got smacked in the face. We've tried yeah. to figure this out before. They have the name plates already made up. But the first few... They have multiple jerseys, though. They likely know that they'll be able to get them. And then they just have to heat press. But we've also seen them where they're falling off. So yes. it's, like, really fast. Yep. But if they have that press out there, just... Okay, go! You know? Uh, when you saw 6 a.m. and Papa Roach, was that Crewfest another good female singer from Ginger? No, we saw it was... Five Finger Death Punch was the headliner. I don't remember what the concert was. Called. No, no, but oh, it well, was um, Ashes to New, 6 a.m., Papa Roach, and Five Finger Death Punch. 6 a.m. was the only one that was not very good. Ashes to New, awesome. Papa Roach, of course, amazing. The, Five top, Death Punch. the top four picks in this year's draft, <laughs> all centers. This is This is just an NHL standard thing. Will Smith's going to San Jose. He does not have to go to oh, Philadelphia. Weezer. There you go. There's a non-metal band that I like. I really like Weezer. They're not metal. Def Leppard. See? I know. I love Def Leppard. No. Not now. I love old Def Leppard. Not the new stuff. The new stuff I don't like. I do not. So Will yeah. Smith goes fourth. So now Montreal's up. If Montreal wanted Will Smith, <laughs> this might be where we see some movement right here is five. Yvonne, from a seamstress per perspective, talk to us about how they have named jerseys ready so fast. <laughs> yeah, see, Smith's already on his jersey. Because remember, they've already got the number. We already know the number. All of them are going to say 23. And then it's just a matter of having the nameplates to stick on the back of the jersey. Hmm. More hockey talk, less music talk. This is top of the draft. Sorry, we're just talking to people and we're reading people's questions. So... There you go. You're welcome. And there's there's a lot of there's a lot of time in between picks. It's kind of like hanging out we're with only, friends and just we're talking only four about picks stuff. in, and it's uh, almost quarter to five. So, uh, yep, the heat press the names right after the pick. There you go. Um, you just use a laminator. Yeah, disagree. Music talk is fun. You know, we've had this conversation in live streams we've had before. This conversation a lot. There's always the people that get kind of irritated about us talking and about the members and patrons music, live streams are almost never food, really about hockey. animals. But again, it it's like hanging out with your friends. It is. We're not always going to talk I, and about I used hockey. To, I used to think, well, Sorry. should we? But then I started listening to some some podcast <laughs> stuff here and there, and I was like, well, they're not really talking about hockey through most of this either. Well, and if you read the questions that people yeah. are, it's a conversation. Yeah. Clutch. It makes it way more fun for us. That's for sure. What about Clutch? <gasps> I don't know. Gonna have to look it up. Gonna have to look some bands up. I know. That's frequent. That is frequent. People uh, do sometimes send, especially me, links to different music. I've like even Lordy. had, I've had people send me playlists, which are really fun. And I do listen to them, and that's, yeah, it's fun. So if you want to send me different music, though, I don't, you guys kind of have an idea of what kind of music I listen to. Okay, so what's Montreal do with the number five pick? That's that's the question I have right now. Does Montreal, do they, do they keep it? Do they make that pick, or does it get traded? And do I have to take this beautiful board and start breaking things up and putting other logos up here and all that fun stuff? Okay, I'm just making sure. I don't think I missed any. I'm trying nope. to make sure I'm not in front of the board. 
what are friends? I know, right? So see, that's what this is. Do your bunnies know their names? Yes. yes. They they do just kind of like cats. Waffles, oh. waffles came over today when I called her. Waffles definitely knows her name because I sing the waffles song. <laughs> I've made up a song for Licorice waffles. knows his his name because I sing to him as well. Yeah, they do. And Cinnabon thinks her name is Bun 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 because that's what I say every time <laughs> I see her. Right. So she comes running over. That's my name, Bun 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 Bun. I don't know how many times I have to say it before she thinks that's her name, but right. Oh goodness. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So oh, Montreal fans, you're trade. Up. We do have guinea pigs. We have two guinea pigs. They're cute. They are chicken nugget and tater tot, and they're adorable, and they squeak when I go up the stairs. They're adorable. They squeak when they hear us talking. The rabbits are nervous because they're all named for food. They, our bunnies are not nervous. Nobody told them that they're prey animals, so they'll fight you. <laughs> Any fans of the idea of THG switching into TEG jersey switch for board readjustments? <laughs> Goodness. You know, I've I've thought about doing a video where where I could do like during like little pauses here and there and and whatnot and try to have TEG come in. But I have Bob. I mean, um, I could just put Bob in here. Oh, that would be so funny. Oh, I bet there's a bunch of people who haven't met Bob. For That'd rounds two through seven, I could just put Bob in front of the camera <laughs> and then just write down the names. Or what, oh, what about Offspring? I love Offspring. I've seen them twice oh, in concert. Is in. Number five. Offspring is great. I do really like Offspring. Hi. How you doing, baby? Three Days Grace Live. I've seen Three Days Grace twice. I really like Three Days Grace. Yeah. They are one of my very, very favorite bands. Um, it would be so funny if Marlo had said a different name, a random person just for fun, like Brian, Brian Reynolds. <laughs> Hockey guy and gal, is this channel your main thing, job, or is it more of a side hobby? Oh, it's our this job. This is our job. This is, this is this, it. This is it. This time of year, it's busy. <clears throat> Hi. Nashville overpays for the Montreal pick to make a splash. Oh, Carrie Price is going up to make the pick. I have the same jersey as Yvonne. I got it specifically for the fact that it was going to support kids. Wasik seems like an awesome organization. Yep. Uh, agreed. And is a beautiful jersey. Oh, he's choking up. <laughs> is Jada happy about going to San Jose with Will? I would think so. All right, number okay. five, they're going with the defenseman. So this is the first, uh, sweetie. I got to write on the board. Honey, sweetie, I have to write, I love you too. Um, I have to write a name, sweetie. Speaking of to. animals, do you think Tom Wilson gets traded? I don't think, I don't think uh, Wilson's getting traded. Uh, so David Reinbacher, that's the number five pick going to Montreal defenseman. Michkov has now slipped as low as sixth, and I I don't think the slipping is is done necessarily with Michkov. Vancouver locals and Juno Award winning Unleash the Archers are fantastic. I haven't heard of them. I know I've heard the name, but I don't remember them. I like Walk Off the Earth. Yes, Walk Off the Earth is really fun. They'd be fun in concert. <clears throat> Wait, they've got him mic'd up? Just wear the cat like a scarf, not if you want to keep your neck. Yeah, no, Shadow, Shadow wants me to pick him up and cuddle him. He's decided it's cuddle time, haven't you? Shadow will uh, tell you what he thinks. Oh, I'm so mad. Hi. Good boy. <laughs> dad. Good boy. It's dad. <laughs> But dad, they can tell when we're doing a video. He and never we're doing bothers a live me when stream. I do a video and it doesn't matter how long it is. He can tell when it's a live stream and he will come over and bother me. Bear will come up. All of the cats will bother me when it's a live stream. I, I speak, I guess my cadence is Did different. Did I miss one? I don't know. Although okay. I've noticed the cats hear the beep. And that the could beep, be. they, they stop. That could be. Um, where'd it go? Which five players plus goalie would be your picks to have start game seven overtime? You can pick from all time players. Oh, holy oh my goodness. Um, it'd be 
Gretzky up front. Any five. I mean, if I can have three centers, it'd be Gretzky, Lemieux, and Iserman. <clears throat> Leach and Coffee would be my defense, and in that it'd be, be Patrick Roy. Hi. What, what color doing? are the coyote suits this Hi. year? Uh, they're maroon. Everybody that all of their, their management showed up in maroon suits this year. So although they look kind of fun, although the Ron Burgundy joke kind of wrote itself. Yvonne being on camera is probably a clue to the cats that it's a live stream. Not always. There yeah. are times where I do live stream by myself. It's rare, but it does happen. And the cats know. They can Those help. would be Patreon live streams. Usually, yeah. yeah. Or on the entertainment guy, I've done once yeah. by myself, too. Okay. Rarely. And when I do, I your mother will remember. message you. Remember? Oh, yes. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's so great. Right. I wasn't away. on a live stream. What's going on? <laughs> Why are you not on the camera? Yeah. Can't get away with anything. Like... Not Bobby Orr. I didn't watch Bobby Orr. I'm 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 old enough to have watched Bobby Orr, but I didn't watch hockey when he was playing. He's not that old. No, thankfully. Will Eric Tolsky be the next GM of the Pens? I mean, it's possible, but yeah, Dubas is 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 young. He's going to probably pick somebody that he's he'll he'll look at guys he's familiar with. <laughs> so that could influence the decision as well. I will know by the middle of July, apparently. Your cats are hearing people complain about music talk, so they want to shift the conversation to them. Okay, so Shadow gave up. this. You're not paying attention yeah, to me. Shadow I'm gave out of here. My cat is also named Bear. Crazy how popular it is. Yeah, she's a good cat. She's sleeping right behind me. She, oh, yeah, she's on the floor. She's right, right underneath the board. So if a marker falls, it's going to hit yep. her. Any more stories about oh Gabriel Lincoln? Oh my gosh, I forgot about that one. No, you don't need to encourage this. Back in the war of 1812. No, 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 let's not. Okay. How do your cat's claws not snag jerseys? Well, oh, they, they do. snag jerseys. They do. A lot of my older jerseys from like before <clears throat> I had a channel, there's all kinds of pulls on them from me having cats. I have had to fix so many jerseys. The I've little, had bear snag a jersey. Little tiny. Oh, she. I run. I run to Yvonne and I say, I "Need this fixed." There's times where I'm like, he I doesn't can't even look at, look at it. He I won't can't even look at this. Please, please fix take it. this and fix it. I can't look at it. There. Gosh, that one time she got into a drawer. He used to have jerseys in a drawer. She destroyed and my bear. My got blues, into the dresser. My blues winter classic. She destroyed <clears> it. So I and I haven't been able to find it for a reasonable price since then. It's it's and and even though the third jersey I they have for this is similar, a lot on that one. Yeah, it got mostly fixed. If you don't look too close, yeah, it looks okay on mm. camera, but I I can't wear it outside of that. That pick was a KK pick two point oh. The Reinbacher is a really good all around defenseman. He should be a top two defenseman in the NHL. I think Montreal uh, probably went in the right direction here. First time watcher, but hockey, metal music, and cats. I found my people. There are a lot See, of metal fans great. that like yes. cats too. Absolutely. Does, and there's definitely metal and hockey. Despite what non metal too. people think, metal people are pretty darn chill. <laughs> yeah. Because we get out all the aggression listening to music. Absolutely. You get all of that frustration and stuff out just by listening to somebody else yell. It works great. <laughs> the comment about solo live stream and Yvonne's mother was freaking hilarious. It's true. That's what happens. And people will message. Um, we've had, oh, when I got really sick, you did some live streams. I got so many subscribers yep. messaging me, asking me yep. if I was okay. Yep. Okay. That's um, why if I ever did a live stream and if I had another woman in a live stream with me, the internet would I melt would down. know... The internet so would melt fast. Down. Like, but I think if I went to like Metro Metropolis Mall and I was with with the woman, it wouldn't matter was related to her, you would get messages. Probably. I it's just saw just... Shannon at the mall and he's with a woman that's not you. And I yelled at him and he <laughs> wouldn't even look at me. So he's clearly. <laughs> um, okay, I saw one and then jump past. Favorite trade slash move since Stanley Cup was decided. Uh <sighs> Favorite move since the cup was decided. I, I like the Dubois trade for Winnipeg. I think they did really well. 
Simashev. Simashev goes sixth. So two defensemen in a row. And the Canucks wanted Simashev. You they need a main coon cat. We have enough cats. We yeah. we are at cat capacity at we're our good. house. We're good on cats for now. Okay, so. she just woke up, so I'm gonna pick her up before she starts bugging. You're gonna start bugging, aren't you? Arizona okay. looks like a cult. They they do. If you see them, if they'll show them again. If you see them up there, they're all wearing the exact same suit. That's kind of odd. Simashev's all the way up there. Did he not think he was getting drafted early or something, or did they just give oh. him a crappy seat? Hold on. I see it. Hold on, hold Hi. on. I see it, Lars. I see it. Hi. Um, opinion on specific Truvium and Avenged Sevenfold albums. Oh, I love both Truvium and Avenged Sevenfold, and we were supposed to see them in concert forever ago. They were like they were playing together, and nope. I thought that was perfect because nope. I always thought they nope. worked well together. They're similar but different, and then that that concert got canceled, and it was sad. So we haven't got to see Avenged Sevenfold in concert. Hey. Ever because oh, have they even returned or no, they are coming, but we're not yeah. gonna be here. They're We've seen Trubium in concert and they were really playing fun. in Vancouver on August 6th. Right, and we can't go. But that's sad, but so, they're great. Oh, there's a Y at the end of Simashev on there, so I'll go ahead and add that. We know you may you we know you know many secret truths of the NHL. Can you please reveal just one of them? Also, you're a cutie patootie. Oh, hi, Vaughn. <laughs> one of the great NHL truths. See, I, I could do a video on how the Coyotes have never actually played in Arizona. And that it's been this grand scheme the whole time to make people think they play in Arizona. <laughs> That's That would be a good, great truth for, for National Hockey League fans. Here it goes. What do you think of the Devils off season so far? They've hit it out Can of the I park. They've hit it out of the park. They've done a very good job. Arizona using their their third jersey. That is for the weird draft. looking. What's weird looking? Their suits. Oh, their, and cult, their, their cult status. Ill fitting. Well, they pants. use the the maroon jersey, and they've got all their maroon really. suits going on. Some of those don't fit well. Yeah, well, you don't fit well. Na 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 na. Um, do they all have white shoes on too? No, no, they don't. That would be really bad. That wouldn't work <laughs> at all. Not a cult. <laughs> Wait, some of them do have white shoes on though. Pixel looks mad. Must be the mirroring Bedard's. Bedard's feels going to Blackhawks. That's Bear. That's Bear, and That's Bear, Bear always looks mad. She she's can look mad. mad while she's purring. She might be mad now because I put her down. If Pix Why? if Shannon picked up Pixel, you'd know. She cries like she's she dying. Does. She makes it sound like you're squeezing the air out of her. It is so funny because I don't pick her up. She learned years ago that any time that the kids picked her up and she makes that squeaking noise, I would yell from the other room, put Pixel down. So she learned if I make this squeaking noise, he will I make put people down. put me down. So now she makes the squeaking <laughs> noise if I pick her up. And I keep telling her, you're not dying. <laughs> I know how to pick up a cat. And she'll still like open her mouth and barely noise. And like, <laughs> Ah. <laughs> so it's funny. so hilarious. It's like you're not dying. I'm just picking you up. Do you think Michkov intentionally take interviews to go to Washington? Does that happen? I mean, if he did, he's been taking interviews for months. Uh, I I don't think so. Uh, again, some players interview really well, and some don't. So for Michkov, he's now down as low as seventh. I I wouldn't rule out Philadelphia necessarily picking him up. I wouldn't rule out Philadelphia seeing if somebody wants to pick up that draft pick and have a shot at Michkov, but he's definitely slipped in the draft. I hope my Blues get Michkov. He'd have okay. to drop all the way to 10th. I don't think he drops that far. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to see where we are. I know it skipped. I had no idea that Hockey Guy had another channel for entertainment. Do you have any other channels? And Hockey Gal, what are your channels? I have told her for years to do a sewing channel. She won't do it. I People online can be horrible. I had a channel. I had to close it because trolls from the Hockey Guy channel were bombarding my channel. And all they would do is tell me how fat and ugly and stupid I were. And I don't really like that. I mean, we see that enough on the Hockey Guy thing. So... 
Yeah. I didn't enjoy that. So I just got That's rid of true. my channel. Yeah. So now this this is it. Yeah. We just have the two channels. And Wilson will never be traded. Our future captain. Yeah, I don't think Wilson will go anywhere either. Okay, hold on. I know it skipped. Yeah, stuff. I think you're okay, good. I think I found them all. Yeah, I think you're good. And I think you're, I yeah, got you got that one. Right, now I'm going Good there. job, sweetie. Do you think Domi will go back to the Hawks? Uh, he, sh he should, if you look at the way he played in Chicago this past season. It was better than I thought he was in Dallas. Uh, but we'll we'll see. Uh, really, uh, they're in an interesting position, Chicago. They want to build things back up. Clearly, now they've got Bedard. They go out and they sign Hall. Or they pick up Hall from Boston. I think signing, uh, signing Domi would be the right move. So the Flyers have their new jerseys. Look much better than the ones they wore this past season. People offline are horrible too. Yeah, but not generally as bad. When people are online, they feel like they can say things. Could be, that you could be anonymous on ever say to somebody's face. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Take a look at YouTube's comment section on not this channel because we really moderate it. You see, we have a lot of awesome moderators, and yeah. we spend most of our day making sure that the comment section on here doesn't look horrible so people can actually have conversations on here. Not as toxic. Do you think Domi will go back to the Hawks? You already asked I that. did, didn't I? Because I'm not even paying attention to what I'm reading. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. No less chance of coming. Yvonne punching you in the face if you type it from a different country, I suppose. Matt Bay Meechkov yeah. is going to the Flyers. I think that would work. So the Flyers pick Matt Bay Meechkov. Oh, did I get at seven? One? So uh we'll see how that goes. Capitals fans, sorry, Meechkov is I a already flyer. won that you said the one that you messaged me, Lars. I got it. I yeah. have I I have my phone open to your messages to me just in case I do miss something. So. <laughs> See, he had nine points or nine goals and 20 points with Soshi. He's starting that. So Meechkov goes seventh. There you go, Flyers fans. Let me know your thoughts on that one. He, he may end up being the steal of the draft. How do you predict the Canucks blowing it this offseason? <laughs> Uh, I think my biggest concern with the Canucks is they're again, it, it feels like it's like the 12th year in a row they've done this, that they just, they approach it like they're not that far off. Like, well, we're not that far off. We can just make a couple of additions. We should be fine. It is the most maddening thing in the world that the team continues to not worry about the future assets as much and still act like, well, we're not that far off. They, they don't build the depth. They don't build solid enough teams. So and But they're not bad enough either that they're going to be drafting in the top five in a draft like this. Um, when this is all over, Shannon will be doing a video that will give a summary. I always and, recap the draft. Yeah. So don't you worry because somebody was asking about yeah. positions and such too. Yeah. So there there will be a video so that people can get a nice Absolutely. little summary of it too. Absolutely. Who do you think the Blues take at 10? Uh, with both Reinbacher and Simashev off the board, I I think it'll be best player available. It's very likely going to be a forward that's available at 10. Maybe Ryan Leonard, uh, maybe more, um, maybe Perot. Like, there's some really good forwards still available in this draft. Shannon definitely has favorite teams. Yep. Um, listening to the live stream here while playing NHL 23, be a pro. I'm finally on my favorite team ever. Let's go Red Wings. Life is good and huge fans since 2019. His off. And it didn't take long enough. I'm glad you're listening mm -hmm. to the live stream. Thanks for listening. The Michigan goal at some point won't be a huge highlight anymore because it's going to be very common in the National Hockey League. Yeah, let's see. We're on... Pick pick number eight is yeah, next. Pick number eight. So go. if I if I just do the live stream from there down you go. here, that's better, right? So that'll work. There we're good. Yeah, that'll work. Do you guys believe in the Iser plan? Oh, I think Iserman's one of the best GMs in the National Hockey League, and I <clears> think <throat> that Detroit's going to be in the playoffs sooner rather than later. I I think this year they they should be able to get in. 
Uh, will Kraken have a captain this year? Does Baneers have a C or an A, or will they not to put that pressure on him yet? I would give Baneers an, an assistant captain. I would make Brandon Tanev the captain. I would make Tanev the captain, and I'd give an A to Dunn as well. Um, okay, got that one. Hold on. Can you please elaborate on why Lewis is off? <laughs> Opposition, opposite of best player at meetups. <laughs> Thanks. Now, for me to answer that, you need to come out to the meetups is as Lewis, well. Is Lewis on here? So I haven't seen. I, I haven't see seen him. Lewis either. There are a lot of people, but I know I don't see many um, people. Lewis, see the thing is, if you're going to cherry pick, you should be a sniper. And if you're not a sniper and you're cherry picking, <laughs> so there are a lot of times too where I'm like, don't worry, I'll play defense. So there's that. Yvonne's laughed when I've said that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got it, guys. You stay up there. So. Okay. Are you. <laughs> okay. Are you okay with the Lightning giving up a piece like Colton? I was surprised they traded Colton. I I really was. And I think this is them trying to keep Kalorn and Janot. And I was really surprised they traded Colton because Colorado gets themselves a very good third line player who might have maybe second line upside too. He put player position to the side of the board. So I, I'm, I'm going to be doing that once we're all done anyways. We talked about that. Wasn't that last year? And it gets tricky for us because sometimes they either don't say it or last year they put the wrong position for a couple of the guys. So that's why we don't do that. Like yeah. they would put right wing or left wing wrong. And then the comment section is full of how we did it wrong and we need to change it. So yep. That'll be in the follow-up video. Caps are going up, so it looks like they're making the pick. We have not seen a trade yet in the top quarter of the draft. Are you live streaming the whole 24 hours? <laughs> no, we're old. The first round. Love you too. Thanks for all you do. Uh, we're, we're old. We're, we're live streaming the first round, and then we're going to be up early tomorrow and live streaming rounds two through seven as well. Very early. So, yeah, it's going to be an early day. We've got kids, so it's yep. a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Your thoughts on is that Igor? Igor Sharangovich. There you go. Uh, Sharangovich, I like his work ethic a lot. I think Flames fans will like him for that. He reminds me of Manjapani. He doesn't have the goal scoring upside, but he's a solid player and he's coming off of a down year with the New Jersey Devils. I think he can bounce back in Calgary. Got that one. You did. Good job, sweetie. Thanks for your videos and your time, Shannon. No problem. No trades yet. No, we haven't seen a trade yet during the draft. I'm I'm actually really surprised we haven't. We'll uh, know though. Batman will go up if they're going to make a make a trade. Don't give in to the haters. A channel where you show how to take care of jerseys and everyday wear would be appreciated. Might not be a home run, but you can make it work. And wool. Talk about natural wool if you could. I can totally talk about wool. I have two spinning wheels and I spin my own wool and I keep the bunnies first so that I can spin it into yarn because that's what most people do, right? <laughs> I do all of the fiber -y stuff. Oh, which, which um, US National we, did they I will be up? doing some uh, Jersey Care videos fairly soon. We were kind of waiting until all of this craziness ends. I'll try and do that sometime before we go on holiday. I wow. do have, I have a Jersey that was sent to us. That's super beat up. That needs a lot done to it. Yep. And then we have one that has a stain on it. So I will show some things that I do to our jerseys to fix them a bit. Um, yeah. So I will be doing that pretty soon. So Ryan Leonard goes number eight to Washington, meaning that guys like Gabe Perot, uh, honestly, as a Canuck fan, I'm kind of excited about what they can do with this number 11 pick because they could get a really good forward at 11. I really hope they do. I know they need defense, yada, yada, yada. Draft best player available. If they go up and draft Sandine Pelica with a guy like Perot on the board or Moore, on the, I'm, I'm going to lose it. The second round, that's tomorrow morning. It's nine our time, right? Starts at nine. nine I Pacific. have the live stream. I have the live stream starting at 6 30 in the morning. So we are gonna be Are you serious? Why would I do that? 
I don't know. I'd be doing that to me. It's not funny doing it to you if I have to do it as well. Man, I can remember last year and people making comments were like, seriously, this is early for us. We don't wake up at this time. I think it would be really funny if there was a live stream scheduled really early and you you did the first like hour of it. That would not be funny. Why would that be funny? We don't wake up early. And it'd just be you like with your tea and just, ah, he's not up yet. Be prepared. I just went in and checked on him. (laughs) Tomorrow we'll have just woke up. Yes. That's early. Okay. Yeah. Hellebuck plus extension and a prospect to New Jersey for Namich. New Jersey's pretty sold on Namich and what he might be able to do. Uh, Hellebuck would be an excellent addition for the New Jersey Devils. I, I don't know if they'd be looking to trade Namich. Plus, Winnipeg wants to stay in the playoffs. If they trade Hellebuck, they're probably going to want a goaltender back. This is boring. Somebody make a trade. <laughs> Thoughts on the situation in Ottawa with Debrinket? Uh, Debrinket is, I I believe he'll be <clears throat> traded before we get to the first. Uh, the good news for Ottawa is that it's not a great free agent class, so that should increase interest in Debrinket. He's going to make a lot of money, and you know, can he bounce back to that forty goal level? I think he can, but you're going to have to be a, a general manager that believes he can do that. Can he spin it into gold? Well. No, I'm not Rumpelstiltskin. If you could spin it tight enough, it could turn into a diamond, though. Yeah. Any any fabric, if you compress it far enough, it becomes a diamond. Yeah. That's not very many it. people know that. Right. Everything is a diamond. Uh huh. Want Michkov to do the Malkin stand? Be last in the. Something. In the queue out. Oh, that's not how you spell queue. When the captain says he is the one to be last, Michkov only, say, three-year Super League. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> okay, so Detroit's up. Favorite NHL player name? Mine is... Nat, Nat Domin- Kelly. Kelly. Oh, Shannon has... Um, Pekka Rodicalio. Uh, also, he never played in the NHL, but Billy Pekka Ketela... Uh, that one, I, I really, really, really desperately wanted him over and he never came over. And I was so disappointed. <sighs> so disappointed. Um, Radic Bonk. <laughs> Great name. We have in Abbotsford, we have Jet Wu. And that's our daughter's very favorite in the whole game. She's asking me, where's Wu? Where's Wu? I want Wu to score. And so when they did the player signing he signed the back of her jersey because that's her very favorite player because his name is Wu. Which surprised him. Yes. Very nice guy, though. Keep up the great work. I get 95% of my hockey news from here. Better than the other sources. Don't forget to ask Gary Bettman for more money. Um, yeah, the checks from the NHL have been bouncing for years. I don't know what that's all about. Um, I tried calling their law firm, Do We Cheat Him and How? And all I keep getting is just a dial tone. Uh, they never call me back. So, yeah, we'll see what happens with the NHL checks. I'm surprised to see no trade so far. Doesn't that usually happen where people expect it's, there it's to be always, a lot of trades? It's always built never, up to be something that there's never as many trades. On. I think, people think I think the fact there were a bunch of trades before the draft led us to think there'd be a bunch of movement. But I still think we'll see movement. One in this row, I think we'll see some movement. It might just be picks for picks, though. Would the Flyers have to worry about something with Michkov, like what happened to Fedorov? Fedotov <clears throat> had a oh. falsified uh, army card. Uh, as long as Michkov doesn't have that, he should be okay. There's a lot of uncertainty right now with young Russian players and who's going to be able to come over and who isn't. Um, I, I, I guess Philadelphia figures it's worth the risk, <laughs> and a lot of scouts think it's worth the risk from each cop too because he is he is that good so detroit's going up to make the pick this pick not being traded yvonne and bunny slippers a robe and her tea for the first hour tomorrow morning i'm totally wearing she bunny is wearing slippers. bunny slippers i'm wearing bunny Cat slippers <laughs> and and i have my tea so in so fact, tomorrow it won't be very much different. Ninety five percent of my videos I do, I'm wearing those slippers because around the house I wear my my cat slippers. Mm-hmm. You have to if you're gonna wear slippers, might as well be cute, right? She bought yes. these for me, so if you're wondering how do they look similar, that's because she bought. They them. don't look similar, whatever. Well, they're both animal slippers. 
because if you're going to wear slippers, why would you wear boring slippers? Well, I have Canuck slippers too. I know. See, now I'm boring. It's like it's like a Christmas story in June with the bunny slippers. At least they're not pink. No, mine are purple. I also have ones that are like tan colored. So all right, Nate Danielson goes to mm. Detroit. That is a surprise. That is that is absolutely a bit of an off the board surprise. A bit because the highest I saw Danielson on a draft list was thirteenth. So Nate Danielson, who's there's who there's a lot of division on how good he's going to be. Something he's going to be awesome. Something he won't. Uh, Detroit is sold on him, and so that's that's a good that's a good pickup potentially for Detroit. So World Cup 26, 12 groups, A, F, G, L, possible groups for Canada, U.S., and Mexico. Might there be a blind person pulling from the first pot so a blank ball could be added after A1, L1, full? Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how, how that goes. The other problem is that, that Canada's national team is, is, is having a lot of financial difficulties right now. So that's something they need to straighten out. Because if they're going to do well at the World Cup, you need to make sure your team's fully funded. So that's a problem. Um, if I, Yvonne, if I was interested in a personal item, what is the best way to get in touch with you? I don't know what that means. But if you email the hockey guy, the, the email that we have in the description of every video, I'm the one that reads it. So that's how you get a hold of me, is on there. See, or on Discord... Um, oh yeah. Oh, that's not, that's not pressed on there very well. Um, or if you go onto our discord, you can message me on there. I don't always see the discord messages as soon. Sometimes it doesn't notify me when people message me. So, but yeah, well, Nate Daniels that was a really eight. long answer or number nine. I should say, sorry. Um, I have triple slippers. I'm cause I'm a crazy nerd. I have that a triple. Sounds fun. Yeah, we do have. We I have, have a, a triple. triple. But triple slippers, that sounds fun. They're born pregnant. You have to be very careful about triples. What? We're dorks. It's true. It's, I, I know. That's what McCoy don't, says. They're born don't pregnant. Don't worry. I know. And they can sense Klingons. That's why I had to have one, just in case somebody's masquerading as a, as a human that's actually a Klingon. Do you you can't be too safe. Do you still sell your novel? It's on Amazon. The funny thing is, I haven't made a cent from it in a very long time because I have to update something and I haven't been able to update it. And I don't oh, yeah. About it. <clears throat> Wait, what? I don't... My plan is at some point to update those as well. Who, See, the Wings hat's black. Who are the Wild drafting? I well, think the, hats the Wild are up at 21. So it'll be, I, I mean... It, if if they draft by position, I would think it'll be a defenseman. Uh, that's what Garen was hinting at, was that they'll draft by position in all likelihood. It'll probably be a defenseman if that's the case. So maybe you'd see Willander, maybe uh, Sandine Palica if they fall that far. Definitely not a fan of the draft hats this year. It has been several oh, years since they they're had boring. fun hats. And if you look, you can see how shiny Wait, it is. It's yeah, a shiny I did, fanatic I did notice the shiny. But it has Which been on camera, years. it would it would show on camera that it was shiny. I, yeah. I don't like how the fanatic stuff looks. It's too bad. It's been years since they actually had fun ones. They've been oh, pretty boring. Oh, Dart signing years. a contract already. That'd be great. Who is your top rated goalie in this draft? Uh, my oh, top Lars rated goalie in this draft. It'd be Rabal. Rabal would be to me the, the highest rated. I was going to do more videos on more goaltenders, but I just ran out of time. Um, I didn't want to do them in the last couple of days because I knew they'd just get buried. So once the draft is done, I'm going to have, you know, time to do some videos on some picks after they've been made. And I'll still do those. My, that's not my opinion every year. It's just been several years that the draft hats have been boring. They used to be really fun. How many has it been like four years or something? They used to make the draft hats pretty fun. And yeah, when, afterwards, when we'd go made. and get them. But now they're not. The first one that wasn't fun was the one that looked like it had holes in it. That yeah. was, wasn't was that the first Fanatic hat year? And this one, it just looks like they glued a patch on it. The, the hat themselves are all the same. They just put a different patch on the front. Yeah. That's yeah. boring. 
Thanks for your unanimous award video. Enjoyed it. You're welcome. I did that, of course, because of the not unanimous voting for, for McDavid, which does not sully that award at all. Nobody's going to care later on. Can Carolina get a scorer? Yes, in this draft, absolutely. They, they can. Um, and then in free agency, they may very well pull something off too. Carolina's, I don't think Carolina is going to be quiet this summer at all. Favorite British player and team. British player and team. I'm, now from a hockey oh, perspective, Hold on. Oh. Belfast, I have a Belfast jersey, so I think I'm supposed to say Belfast is my favorite. Bracknell Bees. Bracknell Bees, I have that one as well. Belfast is Ireland. So, yeah, it's going to have to be Bracknell Bees. Uh, as mm. for, for British players, um, I mean, Liam Kirk's the one that I know of, but he's over in North America. Now, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. All right, St. Louis is making their pick as well. There will not be a trade of the number 10 pick either. Love your content. Thanks for your hard work. Can't wait to see you manage a 16-game night. It's on a Tuesday. That's lame. The 16-game night's on a not Tuesday. Not only 16 games, but 16 games squished into a short amount of time. Yeah. It's awful when it's a weekend. But that's They've got awful. one night, too, where it's 16 games, and they're staggered 15 minutes between every start time. It's annoying, but they don't ever start at that time. You know, there will be one that takes oh, forever sorry, to start and throw it all off. Are the Canucks getting Benson? <clears throat> okay, so Dalibor Dvorsky goes to St. Louis, Vancouver. I want them to take Colby Barlow. Colby Barlow is the one that I would want Vancouver to take. Um, Benson's out there. Benson should be a good player too, but from what I read on Barlow, and there was one report to I saw on a hockey prospect saying there's no chance Barlow falls out of the top 10. And now he has Dvorsky, <clears throat> a lot of upside. There's a lot of, of scouts that really like Dvorsky's game. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about what Vancouver could get at 11, meaning they usually trade down or get rid of the pick when I'm excited about it. Can, is that Millage? Millage. Get, get taken. Kid was a stud in WJC and WHL. I believe if Millage isn't taken in this draft, that he's a free agent. I'm pretty sure if he's not taken in this draft, he's a free agent. So if he's not taken, watch for him to sign an NHL contract soon after. Tell my buddy Ross to finish his drink. Finish your drink, Ross. Do it now. <laughs> Ross and his slow drinking. No Makes one mentioned me someone forgot Kiprasov. You think the Wild would do anything to get a center prospect? It looks like Rossi is becoming more and more of a bust by the day. I think they're happy with what they have right now with their forward forward depth. They probably need another center, but um, maybe they'll look to fix that in free agency. It's, tr it's tough because they do not have cap space. Thoughts on the Ducks' third jersey was just announced. Have they shown that one yet? I haven't seen it on TV. I, yeah. I know I know We've they're been doing a throwback. For it. I know they're doing a throwback. They didn't put it mm. on Carlson. There was some speculation that that their number one draft pick would wear that jersey, but it was just a regular Ducks jersey. Um, I had seen speculation was that it would be the the like a throwback to their original jersey, which that works. Four day rock festival here in Columbus every May called Sonic Temple. Kiss Avenge Sevenfold Tool and Foo Fighters headline this year. Highly suggest it. I saw that. Well, I didn't go see it, but I saw Foo that Fighters would be one. fun line. And it looked Foo really Fighters would be cool. fun line. I'm not a huge fan of them in general, but I, I think I'd enjoy a concert with them. Okay, where am I? 16 game nights. Gary's plan to exhaust Shannon. Oh, I you it. know, it, it it is interesting. There are a lot more nights that are really, really busy. A lot of Saturdays where it's 14 games or more. But at least it means that there's a lot more nights where there's one or two games, or some nights there's none. So I can go out and hang out with, uh, um, starts with a Y. Um, You're going to say something stupid, aren't you? Um, Anyways, I have a hunch that Ken Holland trades Yamamoto for Nate Danielson on a later draft pick. Thoughts? Yamamoto is going to get bought out. Yamamoto, I, I think, is getting bought out. Um, it, it saves the Oilers a ton of money to buy him out. There's no penalty, really, because he's below the age of 25 at signing. So, yeah, he's he's on his way to a buyout. 
can't believe the wings didn't take Barlow. Dvorsky was ranked as high as sixth on some of the lists that I saw. So Dvorsky being available at 10th, that's actually a really solid pick for St. Louis. Um, I think that's why they didn't take Barlow. Barlow was, was all over the place on the projected draft lists. The one thing I have to do after this too is look at the projected lists and see who was mm. most accurate. Where do you think Bradley Nado will go? Nado may very well be a late first round pick. He could go early in the second round. Hold on, let's get to the bottom again. Okay. I swear to God, if they trade down, I'm going to have a dangle moment. With Fanatics coming in, which team should rebrand their current home and aways? I think I think we'll see Anaheim rebrand and go back to the Mighty Ducks look. I could see the Capitals doing a mild rebrand. Um, and I could see the Minnesota Wild toying with going to the North Stars colors. I could see that happening. Hope not. Should Danielson have went ahead of Dvorsky? I'm surprised he went ahead of Dvorsky. As I said, in any lists I saw, it, the highest I saw him was 13th. Uh, how about them Lions? Last I saw, they were 3-0. Uh, mm -hmm. I know they've been playing well. Um, I really don't follow the CFL, though, but all the best to the Lions. Unless you mean Detroit, in which case, yeah, good luck for Detroit. Best hockey channel on YouTube. Nice Jets jersey. Thank you. Thank you. I like my Jets jersey, too. Hold on. Jumped again. Okay, so the Canucks are making the pick, or they're sending a kid up with a jersey, and then they're going to say they're They do him. send a kid up with the jersey. Just that they is, made it look like he was by himself. I'm like, why? That is the kid. Because I, I saw that with one of the other teams. <laughs> that kid looks 12. Oh, they probably are probably like 16. But Just joined. What do you think of the Oats pick? Uh, Coyotes pick Simashev. I like Simashev. Um, in my initial mock draft, I had Simashev at five, and I had people tell me that's ridiculous. Simashev's not going in the top ten, and he ends up going at six. Turns out my mock draft wasn't that far off the initial time. And I mean, when I was doing the prospect videos uh, and picking a jersey based on where I thought guys were going to go. Uh, but yeah, I, I I think it's a it's a good it's a future pick. Like he's not going to play this year, but yeah, I think it's a good move. Vaughn Vancouver. Colby Barlow. Ross wants him to finish his drink now. Colby he Barlow. started it. Shout out from Idaho. We miss you, Yvonne Potato. No. Uh -uh. Uh, how do you feel about the Flyers pick? Uh, Michkov is a home run. And, and I'm saying he's a home run if he comes over and he plays. There's some risk to this pick because he's got the three-year contract with the KHL, but Honestly, he has all the talent in the world if he comes over and plays for them. Okay, so they went with Willander. Okay. They went, they went with Willander. I'm going to say this. We may look back on this draft and say the Canucks had a chance to draft and name any of the forwards that are still out there. And I'm not saying anything bad with Willander, but I, I don't know if this is best player available. Blue Jackets third as Columbus chill jersey column and make it happen. Um, the Oilers are apparently for the for the Heritage game, they're going to wear a jersey that's a throwback to like the 1955, Oil, or not Oilers, but 1955 Edmonton team. So mm. maybe we'll start seeing teams do more of that. Who do you think the Avs will pick? Love you guys. Well, the Avs aren't picking until... 27th. So at 27th, your guess is as good as mine on that one. Why is Zach Benson still on board? Uh, Benson, I saw a prospect list where he was as high as fifth. I also saw him in the teens. So it just it just means for GMs that their list does not have Benson that high. The Ducks have to rebrand this year, right? They have the home and a ways already with the alternate and the reverse retro from this past year. Yes, I, I think they will. But usually <laughs> at the draft is where you see that rebrand happen. So the fact that uh, you saw Leo Carlson put on their black jersey, I, you know, maybe they'll just have a different third and maybe the rebrand gets pushed down the road a bit. Okay, I got that. You did. 
Good job, no, it's, it's skipping around again. Well, we do have 6,700 people on the live stream, so thank you all for tuning in. 42-year-old Zamboni driver level pick Shan slash Dangle. I, yeah. Willander is literally a hotter Patterson. Is he, though, literally? Do you think he's hot? Literally? I mean, he's I didn't an 18-year-old. Look so. at him, but literally a hotter. He, he's That's the same age as one of your literally kids. literally means, yeah. So, you know. I, I don't generally All right, Arizona's up next. teenagers like that, but that's not the proper use of literally. I'm too old for that. Do you think Sharks could trade up for Pearl? Yeah, Gabe Perot's still out there. Um, man, the, the Coyotes could really luck out if they drafted Perot. Um, we'll see if there's any movement here. I And I, I want to say, too, I, I really hope mm. Melander hits. I hope this is a great pick for Vancouver, but I'm scared because of some of the forwards they left on the board there. Yeah, LOL, 18-year-olds being hot to us. Yeah, it's really, really not a thing. Nope. No, I generally can't even see an 18-year-old as looking cute. I still refer to people in their 20s as kids. Right, yes, yeah. I get I get comments and videos like you can't call this guy a kid. He's twenty five. I can too. That's I'm, definitely. I'm kid. much older, so <laughs> to me, that's a kid. What the next drafted a Swede? No way. Yeah, worst kept <laughs> secret in the in the National Hockey League. I thought it was going to be Sandine Pelica though. Uh, oh, I oh just I that. really hope okay. it works. I really hope it works. I just, I'm nervous because there's some really good players they left up there. Oh, the Ducks already have their jersey on Twitter. We're kind of busy right now. So, yeah, kids, my actual kids are older. Ours aren't, but they're, well, same age. So. Like my, my stepdaughter's 26. So, you know, there's, there's got to be a limit somewhere. Hi, Shannon. Been watching you for years. Thank you for the daily videos. I always look forward to a dose of hockey news every day. Keep Thank up you. the good work. It's really appreciated. And your watching is appreciated because without you watching, I wouldn't be doing this every day. Just be talking to camera. Yep. Ducks 30th jersey See, brought to you by Starbucks. That does look bizarre, doesn't it? They even got the same Why ties. are they all matching? Because they do that. Apparently, they do that every year. Why, though? Because why not? Because it you looks know? weird. It looks like they're bringing up the third jersey again, too. It's such an odd organization. They switch from the Kachina to the Yawning Coyote. Sorry, the Howling Coyote. And then they switch back to the Kachina. And then within a couple of years, they're using this third jersey for the draft. I like the third jersey, but the Kachina is a gorgeous jersey. What do you think of Delabor Dvorsky for the Blues? Dvorsky was supposed to go higher. Uh, I think that was a really good pick for St. Louis. Uh, I would have been sprinting up there if I was at 10 and he was still on the board. So, yeah, I think it's a good pick. Uh, what's your opinion on Willander? Okay. So, this is a player who went really early on the hockey prospect list. This is Daniel Boot, I believe. Um, so he comes over whenever he comes over, uh, he'll be picked up. So that's two Russians for, for Arizona. That's interesting. That's odd. Um, so yeah, Simashev and Boot are the picks for the Arizona Coyotes and we'll see how that all goes. So, wow. Barlow's down to 13th. Buffalo fans should be excited. I like Barlow. I guess there are GMs that don't. Tell Tommy to finish his drink. Well, that could get obnoxious quick. Just saying. Seriously, Tommy, knock it off. Get it done. It's getting embarrassing. I wasn't going to say anything. Now I am. Get it done. Just a thanks for your incredible hockey coverage. Well, thanks thank for you. watching. Next city to get a franchise. You know, Salt Lake City is so excited about it. I kind of hope Salt Lake City gets it because I think the NHL can work there. 
a shout out to at Hockey Robinson for calling out Carlson, calling Carlson a duck on September 29th of 2022 at 11.34 a.m. Tweenheim is back. Let's go ducks. Um, Carlson was number two on a couple of the lists that I saw, but it was it was not a commonly held belief that he was ahead of Fantilli. So we'll see how, how Verbeek does on that pick. <clears throat> he is very NHL ready, though. He may end up being... Uh, right there with Bedard in the scoring scoring race, at least to start the season amongst rookies. If he plays right away. That's always an if with the draft. I love your stuff. What's with the lack of trades every year? They got done before the, dra before the draft. Uh, they got done before the draft. I don't necessarily think that this is indicative. Like I mentioned this too. We've seen before where the, the first day of the draft, the first round, stays as it is nobody makes moves and then day two we see that movement tomorrow morning could be a busy one um coyotes are relocating to moscow i don't know if idaho could think... support that that would be moscow but i know i don't think not. idaho could i mean maybe pullman pullman's not in, in pullman. idaho no but it's close no okay whatever you could put a team in pullman no you couldn't you can no the ice cream place can be the place that they can the they can university? fund university. Yeah, the university. They can fund. The Anyways, team. moving on. Arizona's great playing video, in the university. Great video chat, Shannon and Yvonne. Have you guys heard of a town called Smithers, BC? Yes, absolutely. The Flyers had two brother defensemen named Joe and Jim. There was Watson a show I used there. to watch that was set in Smithers. Shoot, there was a show I really liked that was set in Smithers, and then it got canceled. Now I can't remember what the, that's going to drive me nuts found you two years ago shannon i've become a huge fan hello from tennessee and go preds yeah so nashville's gonna be up at 15 they're also at 24 uh clearly whatever trots wanted to get done today the asking price was probably too high for these top draft picks but he wants to make a splash so we may see that over the next uh, 24 hours Thank you for your work. I always wanted to be a commentator. It's a dream, and you are an inspiration to me. I always wanted to be a commentator, and then it just didn't. It didn't happen. Um, it ended up being a, a, a. It was cost of going into university. It was the fact that there were a lot of people competing for very few jobs. It was a shrinking industry, and it still is. Um, and so, yeah, it just didn't work. And now I'm here. I I didn't intend for this, but. Yeah, it, it ended up working out pretty well. That Pizza Pizza commercial is my favorite commercial on television. Pro to the Sabres could be real. I hope so. I said that. I said that when I when I was talking about like how cool would it be to see another pro with the Sabres. Oh, I read that one. Ooh, oh, I got that one too. Ah, oh, see, and it skips. The movie The Gray was filmed in Smithers. See, but there was a show that was filmed in Smithers. Historically, who loves Swedes more than the Canucks and the Wings? The Rangers have a pretty long history with Swedish players, too, going back to Anders Hedberg and Ulf Nilsson. Uh, one of the, the pioneers, the original Jets franchise, had plenty as well. I think the Stars should get a new logo. How about you? I would love for the Stars to go back to their old logo. I, I think if the Stars got a new logo, I think they should go back to the other one and take that reverse retro from last year, make that your home jersey, and I think it would sell like crazy. You had a similar reaction when they chose Pedersen. Just saying. No, the Pedersen thing was that I didn't really know anything, and that was different. So that was that was six years ago. I really didn't do the research on the draft that I do now. So the reason that I'm talking about the Barlow thing is because I've done the research. I've looked at the notes. Barlow projects as a really good power forward in the NHL. And there were NHL scouts that said he shouldn't fall out of the top 10. So that's why I'm saying that. And it, it, the, that reaction, I mean, I regret it now. But Willander, I'm, I'm saying, I'm hoping it works out. We'll see how it goes. Hold on. Okay. It keeps skipping. I'm sorry. This is the chat on, on live streams for us on our end is a pain. Uh, hello, you two. Loving your colors tonight. I was not alive to witness this, but being from Quebec City, 
I hear about it often. What was the fee? What was the feeling about Eric Lindros refusing to play for Quebec? Will we ever see this again? I don't think we'll ever see it again. Really, with the Quebec Nordiques, it was clear he would not play there. He told them not to draft him or to trade the pick, and they said whatever, and they took him. And then he just he didn't put on the jersey, which just made everything so much more awkward. Uh, he did not like Obu. He did not want anything to do with the team. And I don't think we ever see that again. I, I really, I would be very surprised because just Quebec at that point was kind of a disaster. They were really kind of a disaster. Yvonne has amazing glasses. She sees things. All right. Not without my glasses, I don't. So we're not getting Perot to Buffalo because we can't have nice things. Zach Benson has been drafted by the Buffalo Sabres. I think that's a very good pick, though. Uh, I think that's a solid move by the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, so <laughs> Sabres going to get Matthew Wood. Uh, Matthew Wood, uh, the projections I saw had him in the 16 range. Um, so he should be taken in the top 16. He could be next. Uh, this will be the best pick for Penguins since 2005. See, and I would I would take Barlow. But that's, that's me. Barlow's sliding for a reason. Is Dubas to trade down the Pens pick? I'd be surprised, considering some of the guys that are available in this spot, like some actual projected top six National Hockey League players, I'd be surprised if the Penguins traded down. Mr. Lott, how do we feel about the Canucks pick? Everything going according to plan? Well, my one concern is, well, Lander is a defenseman and they need a defenseman. Absolutely. I do have some concern about some of the forwards that are still out there. But the fact that the Coyotes right after pick boot, you know, maybe there's other GMs that just don't have the the enthusiasm about some of the forwards that are still out there as scouts did, as some of the scouting sites did. How does Salt Lake City and the NHL negotiate alcohol sales when Utah is the strictest state in the nation on any type of alcohol? I mean, most of your, your income in the NHL comes from tickets anyways. So the tickets, the TV deal, your local TV rights um alcohol i would think the gambling would also be a major stumbling block in utah right uh so i mean there's there's ways to work around it or work through it and and it would still it would be i would think a money maker even if the alcohol thing wasn't as as lucrative as it is in other locations uh who will fall to seattle this year will they get lucky like right again if you were francis who would you take there are definitely some some picks that have slipped a bit in the draft um, if I just look and take a look at the, the, the draft board here, who's the highest one that's taken a, a bit of a dive. I think most of the, the bigger guys have already been taken. Let's see boot Leonard, Reinbacher, Smith, Moore, Oliver Moore is still out there Moore, Some of the lists had more as low as like 23. So there's some, some teams that really soured on more, um, and some, some scouts that did as well. Maybe more ends up being the guy. I saw comments about ours, our stream being earlier than their stream. If you're in the States, they have a longer delay so they can censor it easier. So it's same with the hockey games and stuff. Yeah, our in Canada, feed if they swear, we don't care. will be a lot quicker. Aren't they usually like 20 seconds behind or something? Something like that. They have a lot longer delay so they can censor it. Yeah. Arizona drafting tallest guys available would have thought they would have traded down if they wanted guys rated lower. Uh, yeah. The thing is that hockey prospect had boot at seventh on their list. So the problem with the coyotes is they wouldn't know what other, other teams have for their list and you don't want to trade down and miss on your players. So that's why they end up taking them. I think there's a massive trade tree that shows how the Nordiques selecting Lindros first overall is what led to the Avs first two cups. So I'd say it was still a good call on their part. They, the trade definitely helped. And then the fact that competent management took over helped as well. But at the time that Lindros refused to play in Quebec, he was definitely not the only player that would have said no to play in there. Do you think Montreal trading for a new hook was a factor in them taking a defenseman at five? Uh, since most of the players in this draft, especially five and beyond, probably won't be in the NHL right away anyways, I think you take best player available. Um, but we'll we'll see. You know, we'll see. Maybe maybe some of these players end up being able to play right away. But I, I think Reinbacher, again, I saw it five on some lists. So, yeah, we'll see how it all pans out. 
Give me hope for the Wilds' future. They have a very good prospect pool. Uh, Bill Guerin's been able to keep them competitive, even with all the cap penalties. I think they're in good shape. So Pittsburgh's coming up to make their pick. Is it just Dubas by himself? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. He was way ahead. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, Longtime fan, what are your top three contenders for Kings starting goalie? Oh, geez. Uh, Copley's still there. Corpus is technically still their pro- their property. Um, if Gibson's available, they would probably ask, but I don't know if the Ducks would want to trade him to the Kings. I mean, that's right down the road. I don't know that they'd want to do that. Um, if Jari ends up hitting free agency rather than staying in Pittsburgh, he might be a good pickup. Someone said O'Reilly swearing like live TV after the cup win and then apologizing was the most Canadian thing ever. Yeah, and then uh, the Calder Cup this year, um, it was, who was it that swore? Uh, Pilon swore and then apologized. And yeah, it just it just happens, hockey players. They're not known for having the cleanest of language. Uh, Detroit moving the number 17 pick to Ottawa is part of a package for Debrinket. I'm calling it now. Well, we'll see. We're not too far from number 17. What is your Jets prediction? The Jets are going to get a pretty good player at 18. There's some guys moving down. So Braden Yeager goes at 14. So for the for the recap of this, I'll also like put in where they played and all of that. I'll do the whole board up really nice for that. Somebody says they used to watch their old videos when you swore a lot. I, I And then I met her, and it just went away. All the angriness went away. So. Sorry. <laughs> I made him a decent person. Wait, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, Shannon. Okay. Uh, with Vegas re-signing Barbashev and Hill being signed here soon, they will have $3.1 million in cap space. What players do you think they will sign? I don't know if they're done trading away money yet. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised to see them trade away another contract. Uh, but they're, I mean, they're the defending Stanley Cup champions, so we know they don't need to do much. Uh, Dorofiev is going to get a shot at being on the roster regular uh, full-time next year. I think they'll probably call a couple other guys up. I, they've got a decent prospect pool. Not great, but decent. <laughs> and when you win the Cup, pressure's kind of off. Isn't it amazing? We aren't bitter and angry all the time when we meet somebody who makes us happy. Weird. Yeah, it is strange. So Jaeger goes at 14. I'm going to look here. So Jaeger at 14 is is a little different. So Callum Ritchie doesn't go there. Uh, Matthew Wood's still out there. Sandine Pelica is still out there. Yeah, mm-hmm. Interesting. Don't Oliver worry. Moore. I know that Shannon has always been awesome. Colby Barlow's still out there. Does somebody want to pick that. up Colby Barlow or Nashville? Nashville should pick up. Barlow's kind of a Nashville player. It's Smashville, right? So Barlow there would make some sense. It's so weird seeing Dubas up there. Agreed. It, it is. I had odd. that second of wait. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, it's very Twizzler strange. Twizzler or Red Vines? Whistlers taste better, but for some reason, red vines are more addicting. I haven't figured that out. Maybe it's because I'm not as familiar with red vines or something different. But Twizzlers taste better. I don't. I don't know. I don't eat them, so not the person to ask. Red vines definitely. <clears throat> uh, they the color stays around for a while longer, but I mean they're all American, so maybe it's the red dye that. Oh yeah, they have to use red dye that. Yeah not legal in canada yeah there you go oh i like black licorice too agreed not everybody does no definitely not everybody does i like black licorice though see my kids never did so i could just get black licorice i knew they would never eat it we only have one of our three likes black (laughs) okay so musty still would you rather be blind deaf or mute no, I would not. I mean, 
When I was in my 20s, I got a double inner and outer ear infection and I couldn't hear for like a month and a half and it was awful. That is bad because you're I... already blind. <laughs> if I don't have my glasses on, I really can't see. You got um, that eye that goes... Yeah, my eyes kind of go... Hmm. It's really cool. It's really funny. Um, yeah, not being able to hear was really, really hard. I, But not being able to see would be really hard too. That'd be awful. Either way, that'd be hard. Surprised Dvorsky didn't get picked earlier. I'm I'm surprised as well. Dvorsky, this this draft, and I, I kept saying this before the draft, there were divided opinions on where everybody was gonna go. And so yeah, uh I th I think this this has been a really fun draft so far. We don't get the trades, but we have seen some some draft picks that uh were definitely happened in a different uh order than we expected, although two had Will Smith, or yeah, going fourth overall to San Jose. I lived in Canada when I was a kid, and the only thing I remember is that Smarties are better than M and M's. Smarties are way better well, than M and M's. True. I like M and M's. I love Smarties. Yeah. There's Smarties no multi flavors for Smarties though. They're just chocolate. That's it. But they I don't swear... do all the fun flavors like M and M's. I right, but you can taste the difference between yes. the colors in Smarties, not in no, M and M's. You can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. No, nope, they're the same. Yes, you can. The All orange right. ones taste different. Crowds chanting because Nashville's up at the draft, number 15. This isn't going to be a very rewatchable <gasps> live stream. We haven't sent Smarties to Dave. What? <gasps> How did we miss that? I thought right? we got that. Right? Oh, my gosh. I thought we got that. <gasps> I can't Sorry, believe Dave. I haven't ever sent you Smarties. Sorry, Dave. Okay. We'll fix that. Have to remedy that. Because Smarties are great. They're, you can't compare them to American Smarties. American Smarties are gross. They're like rockets, but powderier, if that's possible. Matthew Wood Carlson versus Fantilli. Higher ceiling? Uh, Carlson's a very safe pick. Uh, Carlson also is very NHL ready. Um, maybe they see that as the safer pick, but Fantelli has a tremendous amount of upside. So Matthew Wood goes 15th overall to the Nashville Predators. So that's their first of two picks. We'll see if they keep 24th. Again, we have not seen any movement as of yet. Oh, see, somebody agrees with me. U.S. Smarties are just Canadian rockets, but worse, right? They're like rockets, but more, maybe they add chalk to them or something as filler. Oh, you mean like candy cigarettes? Those were chalk. Some of them weren't. Some of them were good. They were mint. I guess. The, the ones, ones I they have still were have the it. Popeyes. Yeah, I was gonna say the Popeye ones they have at the dollar store still. They're theirs are good. They're like winter green. Okay, because the ones I but have. But American are Smarties are yeah, sugary chalk. Bleh. This tip is for Lars. Uh, Aquavit. Uh, Aquavit all around. <laughs> okay. So we do have some guys that are sliding a bit. I'm surprised Perot's still out there. I am surprised that Barlow's still out there as well. He's all the way down to 16th now. They put chalk and Necco wafers. I don't mind Necco wafers. I think Neckos are way better than um, those American Smarties. But maybe because they have different flavors they've got the clove ones and the black licorice ones so so i like the <laughs> stale baseball card gum or american smarties uh does the baseball card gum smell like um the the old opichi hockey cards that was my favorite smell when i was a kid was that gum um i miss it sometimes i i do i sometimes i get the gum not because i like the gum because of the smell it smells great well I like Neckos. Somebody else says they like Neckos, but they've never seen anybody else eat them. I like Neckos, and they're one that I will get every once in a while. So I like them. I think they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are live streaming tomorrow. We've already posted that. I've posted and the live stream same with for on both. Canada Day. Yeah, both for tomorrow and then for Canada Day. Both of them are early for us. And then I and then I take the rest of the summer off. Just kidding. Shannon doesn't take time off. Nope. Bear, what are you doing, sweetie? Um, Here. So, Here. So, Rabble. 
How do you pronounce that? It's crazy good goalie, maybe Flames. Herbal, Herbal. Herbal. Was close. He could go in the first round. He could go early tomorrow. Uh, it really depends on what teams uh, think of him, but he's projected to go in the late first or early second round. Who trades back into the first to draft Perrault? Uh, if somebody's going to draft Perrault, I would think they'd have to do it soon because he has to go in the top 20. He just, he has to. He's a very talented player. Mm -hmm. That that U.S. National Development Team program team this year really stacked. Uh, I think there's going to be some steals in this draft out of it. What kind of defense is Willander? Willander, from from what I saw with him, he's he's a two way defenseman. Um, it, it, a little bit of every like he's good. Like he was in the same region as Sandy and Palica. They were kind of in the same region. Uh, Willander could have gone in the early 20s in the draft, but he's seen as a very good all-around defenseman. Bears being a spaz. If you heard weird sounds, Bears kind of... Because she was starting to run around the room, so I turned yeah. on a toy for her so she can get that energy out playing with a feather. Started... Dude, is that your wife? No, this is, uh, this is a neighbor friend that came over. Uh, I roped her into... Um, Helping me out with this. She's been posing as my wife for almost and seven Ms. years Masha. now. So, you know. Posing. Yeah. Well, I can't pretend I'm, I can't be single. I have to pretend I'm married. It's just weird if I'm single. So she's been posing as my wife for a long time. <laughs> Dork. See, I wouldn't put up with that. It's his daughter. Man, he would have been really young. I don't. Really young. I would have been in grade. Really two. young. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't have a girlfriend in grade two, so I'm going to have to say no. Hmm. I had a girlfriend in grade three, though, but we, I didn't even kiss her. So yeah. that's, that's, uh, that you makes things really Yvonne? difficult. Yeah, I'd like to see Shannon try and lasso me. That'd be entertaining. Okay. I'll need to, no, I'd not right this second. Can I use a cord? It no. Might, the problem oh my gosh. is that might come off as like a switch. <laughs> And I don't want to have like like a <laughs> video where I accidentally online of. accidentally smack you in the face with a cord. So <laughs> we need we'd be finding that everywhere. There'd be a gif yeah. of it. My people, eyeball. People would be posting that gif on everything. Yeah. yeah. There's some really weird Shannon gifs there out there. There are just bizarre saying. gifs. There are I, some. I might ones. text them to Shannon every once in a while. <laughs> I use them too. Yeah, it's so funny. I, I use them to I get her attention. I do send Shannon, Shannon The cross-checking one. Yes. The cross-checking one I use when I want your attention. That's weird. You guys understand how weird that is? <laughs> Imagine looking up gifts and finding a few with your face. It it's weird. Really um, yeah, I'm definitely not 27. Um, my oldest graduated from high school two weeks ago last week i don't know there's a he just wasp graduated. or a bee up there okay, okay it's off now it's it's not in my room here but it went behind his head that's how i know it's up there yeah don't sting him yes oh what am i it's not a sippy cup toddlers use sippy cups i have a tea cup um, isn't that one of the ones i bought you yeah yeah this is one of the fun new ones it's a raspberry tea and then I've got my backup tea because I knew this live stream would go on forever because the first round takes them a long time. And this, I forget yes. what I put in my second tea cup. Samuel Hansen. If you ever wonder what's in my cup, it's always tea. Your closet is a fire hazard. Have you been in my closet? My oldest just graduated from high school too. Congrats. Thank you. It's, it's, it's something, isn't it? How weird is that? It feels weird having a kid that graduates because I don't feel like I'm a real adult. So, Samuel Hansen, kids old enough 16. to graduate is weird. Hansik was was rated. Uh, there was one list where he was rated at 16th, I believe. Pomegranate tea. He was 15th on that hockey prospect, so maybe they're hockey prospect fans. I like. I like tea and now that it's summer, I make a lot of iced tea. And so I, oh, I have raspberry tea in my other cup. That's right. Could the Caps trade Mantha to get back into first? Um, Mantha, I, I don't know how much value is there with Mantha right now. Uh, his contract's pricey. His 
production's been down. He gets injured mm -hmm. a lot. I don't know how much how much market value he has right now. Oh, people are calling for bonk. To Detroit? Maybe. He, we'll see if Detroit bonk. keeps the pick. Again, he could get of, another another good another good forward. I just think of cats. cats he could get Oliver Moore. Bonks. He could get more in Danielson. Mm -hmm. He could have uh Danielson along with Barlow. Uh, there's other forwards that are still out there too that were highly rated. So yeah, we'll see how they end up go where they end up going. I'll have to look and see if I can find pomegranate tea. That sounds great. Not to me. Nato is going to Nashville. Book it. At 24, that would be a little bit higher than where I saw him on other lists. Nothing wrong with a good Earl Grey. Agreed, I do. Oh, yeah, Earl Grey. Nobody's Will they read Grey. my super chat? Where did I, I miss one? I don't think so. Arizona is going to Area 51. Aliens are taking over. That'd be great if they had a building that was like Omega Mart. Did you miss one? I don't think I did. If you did, then you'll get I messaged. Know. I haven't been messaged that I missed one yet, so... Okay, so we're halfway through the draft. This we're two is hours Nashville in. country. This one's always really long. And then tomorrow, we will not live stream all seven rounds. Shannon, we will not all seven, do Shannon. all seven rounds. Lipton iced tea is not the best. Disagree. No. Hard no. No, because Nest tea is better. Um, I would prefer actual tea. I'm pretty sure that Lipton is the tea dust off of the floor, and then they sweep it into dust pans and put it in little paper bags. And ta-da, here's your tea. That's my theory. <laughs> All right, I tired. I tired. Not that I have a, an opinion on tea. Uh, I think my wings take Gavin Brindley. Uh, Brindley could could go towards the end of the first round. Absolutely. If he goes at 17, that would seem kind of high. Is Michkov a risk for Philly based on his contract obligations? Yes. Uh, there are various reasons why Michkov is a risk. However, uh, his his upside is fantastic. So we may look back on this draft 10 years from now and say, wow, how was he available at, at seven? Because for a, from a pure talent perspective, he could be argued as high as second. Um. You guys are naming all these pre-made, pre-brewed teas, and I really don't drink them. I make my own tea. I get loose leaf tea, and I just make my own. And for the iced tea, I just brew it in a pitcher. So and in most my of it's fridge, from David's tea. So yes, um, or there's also a Jaga tea that's from Victoria that I like as well. But I I pretty much brew my own tea for the most part because I don't drink sugar, and most of the store bought teas have sugar in them and i don't True. i don't drink sugar true that homie uh could you ever see the c on a goalie's jersey ever again if so anyone other than sorokin shesty or vassy come to mind big goalie fan it's it's against the nhl rules mm -hmm. so the last time we saw it was luongo in vancouver he was not allowed to have the c on his jersey so he had it on his on his helmet um I, I don't think we see a team try to make a captain out of a goaltender. I think it could work, but I, I don't think it'll ever happen again. Uh, Shannon put John Ogrodnik. Ogrodnik in the THG Hall of Fame. Um, I haven't done an Ogrodnik video. I've thought about it, but I don't think I've done an Ogrodnik video. That does That is one of those players I need to do career videos for. Remember, during the summer, I do a lot of career videos. Are you guys big theme park fans in general or more just Disney? Disney. We don't really do rides. We don't do all the ride stuff, no. We don't do roller coasters or that kind of thing, so it's definitely not a, a theme park thing. Yeah. So Jim Nill won GM of the Year. It's so weird that they, mm. they don't actually put it in the award show, but anyways. Um, any chance of starting a cooking or baking channel? No. Um, I, I do really like cooking and yourself. baking, but I wouldn't make a channel for it. Just bring my electric uh, frying pan in here, and I can just, you know, do a video while I'm cooking burgers. And uh, that's the safest fire safe thing that I could firely do. It having a channel, unless you just do 
every once in a while occasional videos. They take a whole lot of time. And a lot of my time is already spent on this channel. Even though you guys don't see me very much, I do spend a lot of time on this channel. And with our three kiddos, one of which I homeschool. It used to be two, but one graduated. Woo! Um, and one of our kiddos is special needs and takes a lot. A lot of work. A lot of time and attention. So adding to it is not high up there. <laughs> Shannon's starting a channel where he models his legs. You guys are missing out. Shannon has some nice legs. I have shorts on for this too. All right, you guys are missing out. Would the Jets have beaten the Caps in the 2018 GJG? Go, oh, go Jets, go. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if the Jets would have beaten the Capitals. Um, maybe it would have been a better matchup than Vegas. But once we got through that first game, like Vegas just ran the Jets out of the out of the series. I, I don't know if the Jets could have stopped the Capitals. Uh, Ovi was pretty determined and Holtby was in the zone. Make some poutine. Goodness. <laughs> Shannon tells us that he does 100% of the work. He does not. <laughs> I, I, I've always been very, very clear that <clears throat> she, she does a lot of stuff behind the scenes. And I, I do the videos, but a lot of the other stuff she does. I uh, what do you think about McDavid getting that fifth place vote? I don't think it's a big deal. I, like I did the video about, you know, weird votes from 83 to 85. There was one vote each year where Rod Langway was voted for the heart. One first place vote every year when Gretzky was putting up 200 points a season. So, yeah, McDavid not getting the unanimous vote and one guy putting him fifth. It's not a big deal. Well, you both come down for this to Seattle for the Winter Classic. Now, the Winter Classic, uh, it is it is January 1st, which makes it tricky. The one good thing about it is that it's the only game on that day. However, we have to travel. It's, it's not easy. And then we'd have to find like a sitter for that or something to do with the kids. With, we're with not, our, our special needs, kiddo, we're not we gonna cannot, be getting five tickets while we game. have two teenage sons no, no, no. because no, no. one is special no. needs we cannot no, no. leave our children unattended right for hours like even an hour i don't know that we would be comfortable leaving him it's just no. not not a good idea no. um and we do go everywhere together so if you get one of us you generally get both of us if shannon's there generally i'm there we're we're kind of a package deal <laughs> Okay, so the pick is in for Detroit. This took a while, though. The 17th pick took a while. Do to we have in. forest fires in our area as the rest of the country? Not not no. at this point. I don't think the one in Harrison's still going. I think they got that out. So I think we, the Harrison, there were two fires yeah, near Yeah, we had us, two. They weren't too bad, though. They they took care of them. We, we got the cool weather they needed to, to get rid of it. We got a lot of rain last week, and my garden super duper appreciated it. But yeah. that really cleared up our air. But we didn't get the really bad fires and really bad smoke that most the of the rest Coast of the got. country got yeah it was much right now here. in the atlantic it's it really bad bad but it's actually comparison. across the ocean it's in spain our our, our forest fire smoke <clears throat> they trade the cats trade who wants to be pet who wants attention yeah shadow's very insistent <clears throat> he really wants me to pick him up but he is he likes to go over my shoulder and kind of go to sleep over my shoulder, but he can really mm -hmm. snag the jerseys that way. So I'm not picking them up right now. We, if I was wearing a t-shirt, I would. We live in the lower mainland in BC. We're about an hour outside of Vancouver, BC, Canada, for those that don't know. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people got really bad smoke it wasn't super bad here it was enough that it was hard to breathe but comparatively it was was nothing <clears throat> oh I see a bunch of people from our area bc is so beautiful we oh, absolutely we know that we live in one of the most beautiful places in the world we live in an amazing area 
we we take kids to the lakes and beaches all the time. We have the ocean. We've got mountains. Beautiful here. And our, our weather, comparatively to other places, is fantastic, if you don't mind rain. So Which, Detroit, to me, the rain is what makes it beautiful. Detroit is following a Vegas rule. Vegas, mm -hmm. for a while now, they've gotten guys with long last names. So De Detroit has Danielson, and now they just drafted Axel Sandine Pelica. So Sandine Pelica on the back of a jersey, that should be great. Uh, looking forward to that. And, uh, yeah, uh, he projects to be a pretty good defenseman in the NHL. I did a video on him already. So, yeah, it uh, should, be, should be interesting to see how long it takes for him to come up. Detroit's really building up their prospect pool really, really well. What do you mean you can't swim in the water? Of course you can swim in the water. My kids were swimming That's in the lake. lake on Monday when That's I was little. All you have to do is you have to wait for your body to go numb, and then you can swim in it. That's it. That's all it is. You just wait until you go numb. Cultus Lake, you got to watch. There's places oh, where I you can get swimmers itch. I don't, I don't swim in Cultus Lake. They've got leeches. <laughs> no. no, they don't. Yeah, they I've do. I've never seen one. I have. There's leeches. Oh, God. Yeah, no. I, I prefer to not sleep, swim when there's leeches. But, it's too um, bad you didn't see my leg when I had the swimmer's itch. Oh, that was sexy. Uh, uh, nope, that nightmares. Was sexy. I would have nightmares. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. No, I won't was... swim at Main Beach. Mm -mm. Pass. Nope. That wasn't Main Beach. Always. We were near uh, Maple. Oh, really? There was a nice I was little, there. But there was a nice little spot. Was a seaweedy spot? Yeah. Okay. yeah, it was well shaded. And we were like, oh, it's all shaded. Oh, this is that nice. That would do it. Nope, no. that was a bad idea. Yeah, you know, uh, but definitely, definitely can swim in the water here. We do frequently. Uh, do you think John T Taveras could get traded and where? I don't know where you trade that contract. Look at that name on the back. Look at that. That's fantastic. Oh. But uh, yeah, I, I don't think anybody's touching Tavares' contract. That's the problem. Um, and the contracts for that core four are set up in such a way you can't buy them out either. So I think for Toronto, they're, they're stuck with that at least for another mm -hmm. year. Uh, what's the riskiest pick between Arizona and Philly? Hmm. Well, the, the Meechkov pick, there's there's plenty of risk to that because we don't know what his plans are going to be three years from now and all of that. Um, with Arizona drafting two guys, two Russian players, uh, we'll see how that all goes for them. Uh, drafting two defensemen as well. Uh, I mean, we could look back on this five years down the road and say Arizona hit it out of the park. We could also look back and say, wow, that seems like an odd pick. Uh, but yeah, we're starting to see some guys drop, and Winnipeg's up next. Winnipeg's up next. Oh, there you go. Hopefully, oh, they get no, one of my we don't, favorites. We don't swim in the Fraser. I don't let oh, my kids no. go in the Fraser. No, 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 no. If you no. swim in the Fraser, no, no, you're, you're not gone. coming out. No, you're you're done. No, no. Um, even the Do better the swim. better river. I don't you let can't my kids swim in that in. either. Nope. Uh, you're done. It's too fast. Um, there's there's a really severe undertow in the the Vetter. Even there where was even it's parts, shallow. Yeah. During, during the summer, I remember my friends and I were like, It'll we could probably you. walk across this. No. And we would get in until we were a little past our waist. It's and I could so feel the water strong. wanting to pull me out. I'm like, nope. Okay, I'm not going any further than this. You just and need one we rock all to just move. Went, nope. Because nope. every now and then, somebody goes in the river. Like fishermen regularly will end up not coming out. So, no. Swimming in rivers is a bad idea. You think that was GM or owner drafting today for Vancouver? I, I don't see any reason to think that wasn't Alvin making that pick. They've been clear that they've been looking at defensemen. So Willander is the one that they decided was, was the pick and we'll see how it works out for him. Are you Jets fans? I am. I'm the Jets fan. Which has, caused, is... which has caused me to root for the team. Cause when she's happy, uh, I'm happy. I, I like seeing her happy. So when the Jets are doing well, I'm happy about it. Pick is in already for Winnipeg. So shovel day off, not wasting any time with this one. Yvonne, I have the same jersey. It's beautiful, isn't it? Just haven't decided who I want to put on the back. It's my favorite jersey. I do really like this one. I wish it wasn't fanatic, so, but, you know. Um, we do have a Discord. That's in That's in the... It's in the description. Description, too, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. We have a Discord yeah. in the description. It's pretty fun. I try and check in there once a day. I don't always comment or anything. But I have two Discord accounts. They're both it. pooched. I can't get into either of them. So so it's me on there. Yeah. I, I can't get into it. Every now and then she'll come over and talk to me about something. I do. I do like send so him I, things that are on there yeah, frequently. Yeah. Uh, now with OEO, 
out. What is the next step for Vancouver? What is salary for Eilish? And how many years will he get? They're going to want to sign him for the full eight. Uh, Pedersen's starting point, I would think, is going to be $10 million. I think it'll be $10 million plus for Pedersen. And I think he's going to be worth it as well. Um, with OEL out, obviously, uh, Hronik's going to be in their lineup next year. Um, they're going to be looking for value adds on the blue line. There's rumors that they're after Ian Cole, that they're interested in him. Dumba, there's rumors about Dumba, but they don't have the cap space to add Dumba. Uh, and so, yeah, they're they're going to try to remake the blue line this offseason. Do jerseys with more letters cost more? No. That's why I always say, get your money's worth. That's why if I get a devil's jersey with a name on the back, it's Langenbrunner. It has to be Langenbrunner. Because that is a nice long name. That's why I always say get the C on the front yes. or the A on the front. If you're going to put your name on the back. Because A, then you're the captain. You can tell the kids, hey, shut up. I'm the captain. <laughs> or, you know, you could just <laughs> you go around and tell random people. You with the kids, too. Yep. Yep. You see this right here? Captain. You listen to the captain. So, yeah. It's just, yeah. It just, it, it's, it, it doesn't cost any more. <laughs> Shannon would absolutely do that with the kids. And the kids would just start laughing because they think Shannon's hilarious. Yep. <laughs> jets are up jets are up who are the jets gonna pick hey 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 who are the jets gonna pick hey hey how would i know there you go colby yeah. barlow he goes to winnipeg that's great you got colby barlow good there for you, you go. that's a power forward going there yeah he doesn't he, look he like he's 16 like some of the other kids. He yeah, oh yeah, he's a man. There you go. He's he's NHL ready and he he could have scored 50. He could have scored 50 if he didn't get hurt during the season. Like he's mm. he projects to be an excellent power forward in the NHL. Uh he was number 6 on the hockey prospect list. So this oh, this could nice. be a steal for the Winnipeg Jets. Very cool. Very they happy to see Barlow go to Winnipeg. That's that's good. That might make me more of a fan of your team. Because I like Barlow. How do you get around BC? Have you seen every team live? No. There's no. so many teams. There are so just 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 BC in the lower is mainland huge alone. Huge too. Just in the lower mainland alone, there are a ton of teams. It takes like two days to drive all the way to North BC. Yeah, he really looks like so, he's thirty. Uh my wife just said he's old. Well, compared to the other kids, he he looks. He can grow a full beard at eighteen. You know, I was able to grow like a patchy beard at eighteen. I've never been able to grow a full mustache. Hey, did I tell you when I was at Gabriel School for that award presentation? Since when do some of these kids look like they're in their twenties? I know. I don't remember kids having full beards when I was in high school. What in the world? Some I wasn't of those able kids to grow. Were huge. The only thing I was able to grow was I had a goatee. They looked like they were in their twenties. I had a goatee in my early twenties, but that's because it was the mid nineties, and every right. guy every had a goatee, goatee. so it True. didn't count. Uh, where Kane and O'Reilly will sign? How much per year? Uh, Kane may not sign right away because he's injured. He's injured. He had hip surgery, so he is hmm. not going to get anywhere near the money he was getting in Chicago. O'Reilly. I would think five million or higher, uh, probably a two-year deal, and he might sign for less if he thinks he has a good chance at a Stanley Cup. I love that Barlow pick; that's fantastic. Um, I'm happy just replaced power forward Dubois with power forward Barlow. I mean, Barlow is a winger and Dubois is a center, but still, Barlow—that's that's such a smart pick. Okay. I'll go through prospects. He looks and all my this age in my thirties. Yeah, yeah, and he 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 his game is very mature as well. As a native dude, I feel your beard pain. Yeah, I could only yeah. grow grow patchy stuff, which sucks because my dad always had a full mustache. I was like, why why don't I have those genetics? I have all the body hair crap mm. he had, but I didn't have the facial hair. My hair fell out like he's his did. Had a full mustache in high school, but I'm Italian. See, I wondered if that's part of what it was, is is the, I don't know, cultural makeup of the high school is different than the high school when I was in school. So maybe that had to do with kids or, looking or so kids, much older. But boys don't shave now like they did when we were in school. That's, that's true. But those were huge, hairy guys. They were huge. We had a couple of those. I know, but 
so many of them. A lot yeah, a of, of really big kids. I mean, often, our kids are big, but often in my school it was Aboriginal kids that were the bigger, right. you know, with the with the full mustache or beard. Uh, there were a few. <clears throat> yes, we will be standing in front of the board. I mentioned that at the very beginning, how we would be blocking it. Otherwise, we cannot read the the chat. So sorry about that. There will be a video afterwards. Shannon will make sure you know about all of the pics and all of the info. I will Vanna. Oh, Got to do both hands for Vanna. Hey, I watched Price is Right and Let's Make a Deal today just to just to kind of get that feel to, for... To prepare. There you, know. you go. That's a good idea. I'm not in the shape Tiffany Coin is, though. Like... Seattle is almost on the clock. Who do they take and what does Vince Dunn contract look like? Dunn's contract's got to be in the $6 million plus range, considering what he did this past season. Uh, for Seattle, it's, it's likely to be a forward. Uh, most of the bigger names are off the board, but Oliver Moore's out there. Uh, Moore's the center. Uh, U.S. born player uh, might have some natural chemistry with Veneers when he comes in. Uh, their games mesh. Uh, I think there's some some good picks still out there. Uh, Crystal actually dropped in a lot of the the pro prospect lists. So Crystal, around the middle of the season, he was like 11th, 12th on a lot of them, and there were some lists. He's not even in the first round now. So uh, we'll see where he ends up. Do you think the Coyotes relocation would have been announced by now since supposedly they don't have any other arena options in Arizona? I In the news video I did shortly before this went live, uh, Javier Gutierrez, uh, the VP of the team, said that they had a dozen locations that they've whittled down to six. They plan to make mm -hmm. an announcement on January the 1st or around January the 1st in regards to where they plan to put in the new building. And it's going to look very much like the Tempe Entertainment District plans looked. They want it to be private funds, so they do not have to do a public vote. That's the plan. Um, I do see people messaging me, so I will look at those after the live stream. Right now, I just have my Lars message yep. open, so I see that. But I will check other messages later. Um, is Anaheim number two pick a surprise? A hockey prospect had Leo Carlson at second. Mm. There were a few other lists that did as well. Uh, so one difference between now with the draft and the draft, say, six or seven years ago, I look at all the draft lists. I, I make sure I'm paying attention to all of this stuff. And, uh, yeah, uh, Leo Carlson's a bit of a surprise. I think Fantilli has a lot of upside, but Carlson's a pretty pretty darn good prospect himself. Do you know who the best wingers left are? <sighs> See, Moore's, Moore's a center. Cristal's a winger. Blackhawks pick. Mm. Oliver Moore goes next. So he's the center. So that's the Tampa Bay traded pick. <laughs> How disappointing is it that Will Smith didn't go to Philly? Right? That's what I was hoping for, too, because he knows the theme to Fresh Prince of Bel Air, because I'm sure he's had it sung to him since he was a little <laughs> kid. I am certain that he has had that sung to him since he was a little kid, because I'm sure he has. Uh, any sleeper defenseman who could be NHL players still out there? Um, I mean, NHL players eventually, sure. But your 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 big names are gone now because you've got Sandine Pelika, Willander, Reinbacher, Simashev. Those were the four best of the defensemen. Uh, Goliev's one that I think is a defenseman still out there, but he's projected to be later in the first round. We'll see if he ends up going growing earlier. Who would be the best fit for Minnesota? I'm going to say with Minnesota, they go with the forward. There are still some good forwards out there. So now that Moore's off the board and just looking things up and down, uh, Chalet's out there. Chalet might be a good pickup. Uh, Stenberg's one that was top 16 on the Sportsnet list. There are, and then Cristal was number 12 on the hockey news list. So there's some there's some good players, but they're all forwards. So it's very likely, I would think, that Minnesota drafts a forward. Thoughts on Reinbacher? Reinbacher is the best defenseman in the draft. That was basically decided. Simashev was close, um, and they, they got drafted very closely to one another as well. 
But Reinbacher is a really good, solid all-around defenseman and should be an excellent pick. Steal of the draft so far? I really like Winnipeg getting Barlow. I, I hope that Barlow ends up being that power forward in the NHL he's supposed to be. Like, he's a goal scorer. He can hit. He's a big player. He's a good skater. I, I didn't really see weaknesses in his game and what I was reading in scouting reports. Will a goalie go in the first round? Her ball may very well go in the first round. The most likely team to take a goalie in the first round, I would think, would be the Sharks. Um, if Philly can't get Meechkov to commit, will they trade him? That's something that we'll have that conversation about probably three years from now because he has that three-year contract in the KHL. I don't think they're going to be able to talk him out of it. <laughs> Minnesota can't have nice things. Does it matter who the Leafs take? At 28, you're picking best player available. <clears throat> uh, the one thing for Leaf fans, that's Boston's pick. So if they hit on that number 28 pick and they get a really good player, you can forever say, well, you know, Boston could have had that pick, but they didn't. And we ended up taking this. Like, I mean, Boston fans for how many years? Talked about Rask, talked about Hamilton. Um, the others that, you know, they could have had and traded away. And I apologize on behalf of Bruins fans because I did it too. <laughs> Why do you think Oliver Moore dropped? Um, Moore was dropping on some lists. Mm. And it's just that his his high end was not seen as being as strong as some of the other players. Uh, so he definitely dropped on some lists. And I will be talking about that after. I have uh, the McKean's book on my computer. I have the Hockey Prospect book on my computer as well. Uh, Moore was... I want to say that Hockey Prospect, no, Hockey Prospect had, no, oh, that's Bonk. Um, they had more at, I think it was 23rd. Yeah, Hockey Prospect did not have him in the top 16. So I'll go into why they had him drop. Are you guys going to go to the Abbotsford preseason game? Are they doing a preseason game? In the Abbotsford Seattle again? Kraken are playing oh. a game in, in here against the Canucks. Oh, that would be fun. I hope we can Except go. Except parking. Right. Parking but is a nightmare. We just know that you have to go like an hour early. Two hours early. If the game starts at 7, I would say we have to be there at 5. If we want a good parking Well, yeah, spot. we normally leave an hour early for a regular game. Yeah, have to leave like an hour and a half early. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so if we can, yeah, if we can see it, we'll, we'll go. We've done that before. Does Vegas repeat? Uh, I mean, they're going to try, uh, losing Riley Smith. I think they can make up for that door. Fayev's there. There's other players they can pick up. Uh, they still have really solid depth everywhere in their lineup. It, it repeating is very, very difficult. So I would say they probably don't, but if there's a team that can, I, I think they're right there. Drive and then take the train. What train? What train? We don't live very far from the arena. Abbotsford's not. If there's, there's no not traffic, we live like just 10 it's minutes like a 10 away minute or drive, so. Yeah. Yep. But we don't have transit. No. And <laughs> isn't, crazy isn't train. BC there Transit? BC Transit's on strike, right? Abbotsford they? Transit is still on strike. It's been like three months It's now. not just Abbotsford, though. I don't know what it is. I know it's Abbotsford, but they have transit once you get to Langley and... Um, all of Vancouver, their finest. All right, Abbotsford. Seattle's going up to make their pick, so we're up to number 20. <clears throat> what are the main reasons that players drop in the draft? Uh, skating, uh, poor interviews, um, and then you have different lists where a team might not have a guy as high on their list and they just happen to be drafting earlier. Uh, but yeah, skating, size, size is a big one, and the interview process. They have all these interviews combine results sometimes they don't do well at the combine either they do take a lot of time between picks for the first round that's why i had two cups of tea because i knew this would take forever um tomorrow it will go much faster the second round you know the second round takes it's faster than this but it's slower but then it just gets really fast to where if Shannon was trained to write the names, he'd just be standing there writing. All right. So Edward Shale, who is a left winger, uh, gets picked up by Seattle at number 20. So I believe he's a Czech. Yeah, he's a Czech player. 
Does Kessel for Sagan pick look so bad now? Hot dog got three cups now. Uh, I mean, the trade itself still looks bad. Mm. So Kessel got those cups after he left Toronto. So yeah, that trade still looks bad for, for Toronto. Sagan, on the other hand, uh, since signing that, that deal with Dallas, uh, his production has not been where you'd want it to be with that kind of contract, that kind of cap hit. Switch out cups. Could you see Halak returning to Vancouver? No. The way that Halak left Vancouver, there's virtually no chance. I think if he if he got a call from Vancouver, I think he would just no. He just hang up. That number's blocked. Why are why is Vancouver? It was ugly by the end there. So I, I don't think he goes back to Vancouver. Where is Hellebuck going? There are teams that definitely need some goaltending. Uh, that being said, you also need to be able to afford to extend them. I think the Kings would love to have Hellebuck because uh, I saw people saying, well, you know, if they get Dubois, could they get Hellebuck too? There's no way you could make a trade that big. Uh, I think it would be tough for the Kings to make another trade with the, with the Jets as well. Cause the Jets want a goalie. I would think they'd want a goalie back in the deal as well. So Agreed. a team with a younger goaltender who projects to be a really good starter, that's probably where he's going to end up getting moved. Not hockey, but love your hair, Yvonne. Thank you. Her hair is always fantastic. It's not. My hair is obnoxious. Best you want to roll over and I need to give her a hug and I get a face full of hair. <laughs> that does happen. Why do you have so much hair? Like I where said that did last all this night. Yes. Where did all this hair come from? It's just no end to it. I don't. I, but see, if I suggested that I cut my hair. No. See? No. Right. So every once in a while, you get a face full of hair. You are not allowed. Oh, see, that's one way to make sure I do cut my hair. <laughs> Other than... I have put my foot down. Good. Otherwise, you'll fall down. I put my foot down. It doesn't that count is, on a mat. That is definitely no one way to, to get me to cut my hair, but I really don't like short hair on me. It's great on other people. I had short hair when I was in high school. I was in a wheelchair, so I had shorter hair because I so didn't like Now that I have this on Blu-ray, when are we watching no, this together? No, not doing it. She won't, she won't watch this. I don't know why she won't watch this. Is this family movie? See, look. It's not. There's a mom and her kids. It. I'm sorry. I love you. It's sweet. I oh, There's I gymnastics. One. I love See you. The gymnastics I'm not, I'm not here. watching it. Okay. Do you think Kessel and Jamie Ben call it a day? Oh, Ben's not going anywhere. Um, Kessel's already said he wants to keep wants to keep playing. So, <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen. Marriage is randomly finding your wife's hair everywhere. I find my hair everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> My hair is everywhere. Mine and Adelaide's. Adelaide, she also has really long hair, but her hair has to be twice as thick as mine. I have really fine hair. She doesn't. Her I, hair. I find your hair on me though. Everywhere. Well, like I will put on a jersey, and so, then like, what is? Why is Yvonne's hair on my back? Like it's I like why? You. If I put it everywhere, it's like marking my territory. It's witchcraft is what it is. There you, oh, see, you figured it out now. Darn it. So I haven't found out where your coven is, but I'll find out. Now, why is the Minnesota Wilds nameplate red when they don't have a red jersey? They have a green stripe under it, though. Yeah, but... I wish they had a red jersey I do, too. Again. I think oh they could gosh. do a really nice red that, jersey. I've been hoping for years that they would make a third or a whatever throwback or however they want to do it. I really want them to have a red jersey. That would Agreed. be great. Or the Jets. The Jets could do a red jersey too, and it would be beautiful. Yes. Yep. I must like red jerseys because I wanted Vegas to do a red jersey, and they did it. They absolutely did. Now the other teams need to listen. It ended up being exactly what we wanted them I to know. do too. I know. That first that reverse retro so was happy. kind of exactly what Yvonne and I wanted. It was. Like, right. <laughs> can't, can't say anything more about Vegas because they got it right. How do you think Greer is doing in San Jose? One thing that is, I think, handicapped Greer in San Jose is that ownership did not want to do a rebuild. So I think that's kind of hurt things that first year. But I think he's starting to, um, I think the team's been forced to embrace the rebuild. And I think he's doing well. The problem is he doesn't want to take on half of the cap hit of Carlson in a trade. And that might be coming from ownership as well. But I think he's probably going to have to if he wants to trade Carlson. Thoughts on BC legend, John Earthquake Tenta. Tenta was an interesting one that he went overseas. He, he was going through the process of becoming a sumo wrestler, realized that the life of a sumo wrestler sucks. And it does. It is absolutely miserable. 
comes back, goes into pro wrestling. I thought he was okay in all-star wrestling. I was like, eh, he's, I guess he's okay. And then suddenly he's in WWE fighting Hulk Hogan. And I was like, oh, okay, I, I guess that's a thing. From everything I've heard, he was a really nice guy. Uh, sadly, didn't live very long. That seems to be the case with a lot of pro wrestlers from that generation. Uh, I've never heard a bad thing about him. Yes, I'm getting lots of messages now. Uh, we definitely need more colors in jerseys. I Most people know how much I hate how they repeat the same colors over and over and over amongst different teams. I want there to be more purple. Yes, please. I was really hoping that the um, whatever the Ducks jersey was going to be would have that eggplant purple that they had on their old jerseys. Very nice. Uh, Barbashev just signed a five by five million with Vegas. Uh, I got that in a news video that went up just before the live stream went went on. Okay, hold on, it's skipping around. Um, Jim Nil, GM of the year as a fan. I don't know about that. Yeah, um, I you know, Nil's one of those ones where he he does make mostly good moves um but yeah uh he's he's had his his missteps along the way too i remember when he brought in anti Demi and i'm like what are what are we doing here thoughts on melee and lucic returning to boston uh if that happens i'm fine with it i talked about that in the news video today too uh i think that on a fourth line in a fourth line position I think he'll. I think he'll be fine. So Charlie Stromel uh, is the number twenty-one pick for Minnesota. That's a bit of an off-the-board oh. pick, but okay, uh, we'll hold see on. How it all Guess I have out. to check my messages. Somebody sent me a picture of the jersey. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's that... really fun. I already have that logo too. <laughs> I have a magnet with that. I can't already. tell. I'm having trouble seeing the color though. Is that purple or is it navy? It's it's eggplant. Is it? Yeah, it's eggplant. <sighs> I hope so. That'd be great. The logo's kind of silly, but... It's this one. Yeah. So I can use that when they wear it. Ha-ha! <laughs> I have a magnet. Oh. I have a magnet for every occasion. I'm such a dork. Okay. Okay. That's a fun jersey. Is that the purple? It's that really is hard a really for me fun to jersey. see. Yeah, it's it is. Oh, yay. Okay, good. That's what we were talking about so, it before. And I was saying, I really hope that you purple. Should I tell purple. Ben to put you down for one? I would totally wear that jersey. I will absolutely. absolutely. I will wear the absolute yep, yep. out of that jersey. That is fantastic. Now I got to wait to do so the jersey. Canadian people? Then. Hysterical. What? <laughs> well, we try. Uh, <laughs> I that makes me happy. Yay. Yeah, That's I, a nice jersey. I, they need to use did I skip the question? And they've got the shiny silver in there too. I saw that. Okay, hold on. Hold on. What did you do? I'm trying to uh, what did you do? Okay, there. Man. I've got I've got my Lars messages open again if I if I miss stuff. Because I miss stuff. Should be Especially good. Especially when I pay attention to anything kinda, else. Super chats have kind of kind of slowed down. I'm so excited that I have that logo. That's fun. Oh, okay, so there the, we go. The and games. Lars just linked the uh, Twitter thing that shows the picture, so you guys know what jersey we're talking about. The Ducks jersey. Um. But I, I do frequently talk about how I wish jerseys and teams pick different colors because a yes. lot of them pick. The exact same Blue, colors. Black and red. Well, and it's not just the main colors, it's the colors that go with it because there's several that have orange and black, red, black, and white, blue, white, and red, black and marigold. Um, yeah, blue and marigold as yep. well. There's a bunch that have the exact same colors, and I think that's silly. There's not enough teams that they have to have their two or three colors the exact same color. Why not have them different? But they don't. They do the same colors. A lot, a lot of blue. A lot of blue. Apparently that Oppenheimer movie is really <clears throat> upsetting people that watch the, the the advanced screenings for it. Oh. Well, because it's the creation of the nuclear bomb. Right. Yes. Yeah, so we saw one of the little previews. The, the one thing I've seen is it plays out like a horror movie, which, yeah, well, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's it sounds yeah. accurate. Yeah. Do you, do you know why Pearl is dropping and thoughts on Hawk's draft? 
So Perot's an interesting one in that Perot wasn't seen as a first rounder to start the year. So maybe while he was jumping up all these draft lists, maybe some GMs are just not sold on him. Maybe some of the head scouts in the NHL aren't as sold on him either. Uh, it is interesting because Stramel was just picked up uh, 21st overall by Minnesota. I didn't see any lists where he was that high. So that's one of those interesting ones. But again, Minnesota saying they could pick by, by position, right? So maybe they figured this is the best guy at this position. That's where they're going to plug him in. Uh, Philadelphia is up next. Uh, maybe they pick Pearl. So that, that could be a really good pick for them. And then when we're done with this, I see a lot of people asking, but Shannon will be doing a recap video so people don't have to watch this yep. over three hours. Live by that point, it'll be over three hours. Well over. Yes. Um, live stream. So he'll yeah, do... Yeah, we've still got 11 picks left. They'll do a recap. He'll go over all of these names that you can't read, and he'll tell you a little I'm, bit about I'm, them. So. I'm trying to make sure they get it, but it's still it. tiny. And I still write them as I can't as read I can. it, and I've got the screen right in front of me. So, but for people watching on a TV like ours, Kings should go with their reverse retro purple and their shiny silver and the crown logo. Agreed. Yeah. I really like the old Kings, either the purple and gold, or well, the marigold or the purple and silver. I like the coat of arms and I like the crown. They Either one take works. Pearl. I like them both. So Perot did not go. Who yeah. she? Who is she? Hi, neighbor. I'm Yvonne. She's the neighbor lady that I have in live streams to pretend to be my wife. So that people don't think I'm just some I weird am, guy. I single. am lucky enough to have. That's extra. No, no. To have. We talked about have this. Nabbed this, this handsome piece of man as um, as my husband. Well, at least it's the nicest piece of thing that I've ever been called. I usually get called a piece <laughs> of, but it's not normally man. So thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, it's Oliver Bonk. I get all of that. There's Bonk. Bonk's going to the Philadelphia Flyers. Okay, so people keep talking about the Sportsnet stream. And pardon me, Dave. Pardon me. <laughs> you didn't send him Sparties. Anyways, he doesn't know you anything. Um, yeah, people keep talking about how horrible the Sportsnet stream is. I have no idea what's going on. All I hear is people are saying it's where I am so not Shannon's sister. Um, I don't have a sister nah, or a brother. No, I don't have a brother. Only child. As I put it as a kid, my parents Yvonne got it right the Steele first time. Yvonne Shannon from all the hockey guy groupies. I know, right? I don't know how I won this lottery, there, but I there did. Are, there, there are so, zero, zero groupies. Zero, there's none. a lot of zeros after that one. He's just kind of shy about it. There are zero groupies. I could put up a poll on that, too. See, that Flyers Who jersey, admit that Shannon's looks nice. Shannon's groupie? Admit that looks I nicer not, than the Day Glow well, Orange. It does. They don't look like pylons Bonk. now. I still don't like it. But so that's another defenseman off the board. <laughs> At least it's not pile on orange. Right. <laughs> so yeah, there's that, I suppose. That's a smart move going back to the burnt orange. I think that looks much nicer. I don't, I still don't like it, but it is better. All right. Bonk to the flyers. <laughs> Thoughts on Hawks draft so far. So, Picking up Connor Bedard and Oliver Moore. Both of these players are centers. Both of them project to be excellent NHLers. Bedard is a superstar. Moore may, may very well be the yeah. second line center behind him. We may look back on this draft, say five years from now, and say Chicago Blackhawks set themselves at center for a decade, picking up Bedard and Moore. Oh. Sportsnet stream, one of the worst things I've ever seen. They didn't show the draft half the time, and they had weird interviews the whole time. Okay, that sounds... I can, I can picture that. Oh, I can picture yeah. that. These do sometimes do the weird interviews, so you're just... Why? Why, why are you doing this? <clears throat> well, tomorrow they do that a lot. Like, once we get into the right. second round, they talk over the draft picks. Because I've complained about that. Yes, and and they'll skip over, and we'll have to have the app open on our phone because yeah. it they won't even be like, mention. Oh, and it's sixty fourth. This guy That's just right. went, but I mm. haven't seen anything since sixty first. What are you right. talking about? 
So yeah, I remember looking that up on our phone. I, I won't have the board tomorrow <clears throat> because I gave up. Well, we do. The last time we did it, I gave up. Don't we do it for the second round, though? Nope. And then after that, we pass it? No? Okay. Nope. Uh, is there an argument for Gordy Howe as the GOAT? There's an argument to be made. And that's that's where you get into the argument of of across generations and, and trying to compare. We're at 23. Um, so that gets... I need to do a video on that because I'm starting to see a lot of, well, if this guy played now, he wouldn't even be an NHLer. Okay, seriously, they're different eras or different eras, mm -hmm. and you, you can't compare across eras, and I'll, I'll get into why um, in another video. Why am I getting a phone call? That's weird. Is it an actual number? I mean, kind of. What's the 450 area code? I don't know. Shannon is a million times better than Sportsnet. He's also a million times cuter, so. You kidding me? I can't pull off a pantsuit the way Carolyn Cameron does. I'm not. Queen of the pantsuits right there. 450 is Montreal. Oh, okay. Well, right. I don't know who from Montreal would be calling me, especially right. during the draft. Definitely not somebody. Somebody, who's a fan somebody of the needs channel. to ask you a question about who they should draft. <laughs> That's it. I'm getting calls Shannon. from the, the Habs are calling me. Shannon, we don't know who to pick for tomorrow. Tell us Please. what to do. Right? Who's going to be left for us in the second mm -hmm. round? Talk to us. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, mm -hmm. if Shannon had to put on all the jerseys he owns, <laughs> he owns, does he fit through the door? No, and that would be way too much weight for him to carry. I'd be dead. Shannon is a strong man, it but would crush me. Um, that's a I lot. I would be crushed. We had to move these jerseys, not all of them. It You'd be surprised to know that the number of jerseys has increased since we moved. I know, shocking. But it was really hard because they're really heavy. Rangers take Gabriel <laughs> Pro. Heavy jerseys. He would not fit through the door. He wouldn't be able to stand up, be smushed. Yeah. And he'd be really, really hot. That would be the most embarrassing way to go. I just want to say that'd be the most embarrassing way to go. <laughs> Crushed by jerseys. Yeah. And then there'd be people be online so saying, hot. well, at least it was doing what he loves. <laughs> Wearing jerseys. <laughs> well, we knew the jerseys would eventually kill him. We just didn't know how. What am I drinking? I am now drinking my raspberry so tea. Gabe Perot, drafted by the Rangers. This could be a steal for them. It would be unique. 79 oh, they need to get to be year. on that Strange Way to Die or whatever it's called. There you oh, go. yeah, I remember See? that show. I never watched it because I don't need to know. No, thank really? you. Really? So you never saw the one where somebody just fired a gun in celebration and the bullet came down and killed I, somebody no. far away? No, I no, that's not... I. I don't find that interesting at all. Yeah, no, I used to watch that with no, my kids. I know the kids were really, watching it once, and there was somebody that was really macabre that they very... like tied themselves to the bottom of their vehicle because it was making a weird sound, and they had a person drive so they could hear where the sound was. And yeah, they died. I was like, okay, this is I nope, I can't do this. So I don't. Thousand so there, way, there's the kind of a Darwin I, Awards I there too. So I know, but I don't. I don't. I'm way too emotional. I don't. Even if they're idiots, I don't need to hear about how they died. It's still, no, that's still um, sad. Yeah, so. I'm way too emotional I when I read, think about the people. I have read about Gabe Perot skating not necessarily being fantastic. I, I don't <clears> care. <throat> Honestly, when when I see a guy's really good offensively and he's real, and they're like, ah, skating's kind of eh. You can fix that. And if you have really good scouts, you can fix it. Oh, he doesn't have a nameplate on the back of his jersey. So maybe they didn't think he'd be available. They didn't have a nameplate made up. So there was nothing on the back of Perot's jersey other than the number. I, I don't think the Rangers thought he was going to be available at that spot. What list? Shannon's going to be doing lots of jersey videos this summer. Once all of this is over this week, then and he'll the start agency. doing... Right. That's said all of it this week. Yeah. Um, then he'll start doing the jersey videos. There are also videos that he can make ahead of time that are good for when we're on holiday. Which is coming up. Woo. Yes. Um, so there will be tons of jerseys coming up. So don't you worry. Um, and if you're going to ask, I have it. <laughs> Whatever you're going to ask, I have it. Got it. 
fun. I've done that in yeah. stores. It's so much fun to go yeah. through and go, got it, it, got it, it, got it, got it, got it, got it. It's my, my favorite thing to do. Lars is a mod. He is super duper helpful. I appreciate yeah. all of our mods on here and on Discord. Our mods help us so much. I don't think they even understand how much they help us and make it a lot less stressful for us because we can only do so much. So super duper helps. And Lars yep. is fantastic in live streams. Good job, Lars. He's really good at linking stuff. Uh, lowest draft pick to make the Hall of Fame. Isn't Henrik Lundqvist that now? Uh, Lundqvist was drafted really, really late. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's the lowest now. He's got to be close. Hold on. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not missing stuff. <clears throat> Where are we? See, Hall was in the sixth round, but um, yeah. How, uh, Lundquist was in the seventh round. He was in like the 200s. I think that's the latest draft pick to make it to the Hall of Fame. A lot of He's people have been asking why you're wearing a Blues jersey today. They have three first round picks. So the Blues drafted here. They've got a draft pick here. They've got a draft pick here. So I figured they have three picks. I might as well wear Blues. It was between that and Detroit. Could you become an advisor or a consultant for an NHL team? I'm not sure what I'd advise them. I mean, if they want to call me and say, hey, we were thinking about making this trade, I could answer with, don't, don't do that. Or, yeah, that sounds fine. <laughs> but outside of that, I, I don't know what I'd advise <laughs> them on. Jersey changes. I could, I would absolutely be down for a team messaging me with, hey, these are our concepts. What do you think? And me answer with, you've already done no, that five or, times. Yes. Just because you made this stripe a little bit thinner doesn't mean it's a new jersey. Right. Silly. <clears throat> All right, Nashville's up. It looks like they're take they're making their pick. So mm -hmm. still no trades. Uh, thoughts on is that Cutter. Cutter Goche. Goche. Uh, Goche projects to be an excellent forward in the National Hockey League. I. I don't know if he's going pro this year. I'm trying to think. I don't think he signed his ELC yet. But, yeah, his projections are, are are very, very good. He should be fantastic. Yes, there will be new jersey collection videos. He's doing all sorts of jersey videos this yep. summer. He's doing yep. a countdown I want, one. I'm doing the countdown, and then I'm debating about whether or not to do the jersey histories for each team. Right. Just tricky because if I reorganize my jerseys <clears throat> for the countdown, uh, reorganizing them – would have to happen after I do the historical look at each team's jersey history. Somebody wants to know how tall you are. Seven foot three. We are Amazons. <laughs> right, Our house right. is huge. You know, you guys have seen the meetup videos. You can tell we're super duper tall. Yeah, you watch the meetup, you can tell I'm I'm not that tall. <laughs> but I also have legs. That's one thing that you see in the meetup nice meetup stuff too. Legs. Um that. I don't wear shorts because I do tend to be kind of because then everybody'd be jealous. And I, of what? I all of this. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh huh. Uh, he's actually he's five four. <clears throat> oh, is Renee making the pick? Or are they going with her ball? Wait, like they get their mascot up there. Why didn't everybody's mascot? Oh, Yossi go? and Renee are up there. That would make this way well, they're better. In Nashville. Have you ever been to a draft? Nope. No. They had one in Vancouver not that long ago, but just the logistics, <laughs> it didn't work. Shannon's legs have definitely been in videos, usually when he's playing hockey. Yeah. <sighs> uh, any plans to do a re-ranking of franchise jersey histories? Um, well, yeah. When I do the, the jersey... Um, the Jersey countdown, I like to look at, at each, each Jersey where it's ranked and then average it out. And then I do the, the power rankings for the Jersey histories. And I've got these really cool pucks now. So I'm really excited about this new set of pucks that I think these are going to be awesome to have. I got the whole set of 32. I'm so excited. And so, yeah, I'll be doing power rankings of various things this summer, just so I can use these really cool new sets of pucks I have. Do people bring extra sticks? For meetups, we always bring extra sticks. 
Um, some of the guys bring an extra in case they break one because people break sticks. But uh, we always bring extras because not everybody owns a hockey stick. Right. So, yeah, we always bring extra and we always bring tons of hockey balls. Um, I've listened to The Last King. Oh, have you listened to The Last King Gizzard album? It's metal as hell. I don't think so, actually. Yeah, I don't think we have. Mm. So, Melendic. the Canucks threw away the 11 with Levy 2.0. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, when you Levy was drafted, we all knew that was a mistake. Um, with Willander, I we don't know. <laughs> we we don't know. There are some forwards out there that I would rather have seen them take, but they're not the only team that wasn't sold on Barlow, on Perot. Uh, and with Melendic going at 24th to Nashville, it feels like there's still some other names out there. Uh, this this draft is is all over the place. They were high in Willander. That was projected as being one of the guys they were looking at, and they got him. All the mascots should do the picks, but that'd mean that the Red Wings and Rangers couldn't draft. Okay, the Rangers, I have their, their whole thing figured out. New York Rangers need to contact me. I get the whole thing figured out. You can just grab a random fan once per game, you just dress them up as the Statue of Liberty, and you're done. That's that's it's easy. You just get like a little hat for them and maybe like a robe and a little torch. And I'm the freaking Statue of Liberty. Welcome to the Rangers game. I just think it'd be great. I just think it would it would work. And you know, you could be you could be the mascot for tonight, that kind of thing. They could even call it that the Fracken the Fracken Statue of Liberty. <laughs> could be friends with Oily the Oil Can. Oily the Oil Can is the greatest idea I've ever had. He really is. Because he'd hop down and there'd be little oil like flying out of his head as he's hopping down the aisle. Such and a dork. Free oil. I mean, who doesn't want free oil, especially in this economy? <laughs> you know? You could come with oh a little, a little, little bottle, and then you know, yeah. oily pours part of his head out for you. You know, I think it would work. Oily the oil can. Okay. <laughs> uh, the that mascot being a middle aged Italian, true New Yorker, would be amazing. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. Yeah. Yeah, and then like Thinking once like a, a game, once a game, you'd be like this to the camera. You know, just a big hairy guy. I could see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Islanders, frick you! Hey, hey, Islanders, you suck. It'd be great. I think it would work. <laughs> Put a leaf jersey on. You just want him to see him change, huh? Yeah, I don't do that. Mm -hmm. It's bad enough when she comes in and I'm in the midst of changing jerseys and. <laughs> She gets this big grin on her face, like, what's going on in here? Woo! Nice! Whatever, you do the same thing to me. Come in here Fuck, when you're getting no, I'm changed? Here. If you come into the room when I'm changing? Oh, that's a show. Right. <laughs> so I have to do it to you. And he Yay. changes several times a day. Several. So, Today has yeah. been like eight times. Right, exactly. So lots of chances for me to come in mid-show. That's not going to be on That's camera. why when she comes in, I say, nope. <laughs> Don't start. Nope. <laughs> See, and all the married people on here, I'm sure know exactly what we're talking about. Well, the married people that like each other. Well, that's true. Yeah. Do you have to add that? Right. Uh, <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Okay, Blues are coming up now for their second pick. Uh, their first pick, they got Dvorsky. They're in luck. There's other guys sliding down in this draft. They could come out of this draft with three really good first rounders. Get a room. We don't need to. We have a whole house. We have a house. Do, do, do with the backyard too. Do, 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 and front yard. Do, 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 do. But we don't want to get arrested. Do, do, do. <laughs> Shannon, oh my goodness, you're a dork. Okay, <laughs> just celebrated 25 years of marriage. Completely get it. See, people get it. That's what you do when you're married. You still have to have fun. Um, any goal goalies taken yet? 
Where do you project for first? Blah, 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 blah. That was nice. Where do you project first goalie to go? What's that? I didn't hear the oh, question. Has a goalie been taken? Where do you no. think the first goalie will go? I, I think San Jose is going to be the first one to take a goaltender. That's Otto Stenberg got taken by the by the Blues. Yeah, Otto Stenberg. That's a good pick. He was top 16 on a couple of lists. A lot, a lot of top goalies don't go in the first round. Vasilevsky was second round pick. No, Vasilevsky was first round. He went like 18th overall. Um... Other first round first round draft pick goaltenders. I mean, it, it is it is unusual, but there are some that go in the first round. Yeah, Vassy was Vassy was definitely first round. I think Potvin was a second round pick back in the day. I think Patrick Waugh was a second round pick. He was second or third round. I'm thinking second. Pre game meal pasta and meatballs. There's somebody who still eats pasta and meatballs before a game. He's carb loading oh. before a game. Oh, I didn't know there was any players no. that still did that. No, that that's that may not last when he's in the National Hockey League. They might be no. like, you're eating what before the game? Uh, so, no, I I didn't think that they, they mm -hmm. did that now. No, mm. he doesn't have a name on the back of his jersey either. So like, ah, screw it. We're too late in the first round. Here's the jersey. Put it on. Be quiet. Yeah, it's a it's a Swedish first round, isn't it? This oh, marker slowly here dying. Fresnel, BC, lots of bugs. Yvonne, would you be offended to be compared to the pets? Depends on what you're comparing. <laughs> that's my bunny right there. No, oh, no, no, no. That's not. <laughs> that's not. Um, Can get you some bunny ears and. Uh-huh. I already got you the... Um, Let, okay, anyways, continue. The narwhal Let's... outfit. That's pretty <laughs> sexy. <laughs> the big old narwhal onesie. <laughs> I guess it gets so funny when I put that on just randomly start walking around. So if you, if you want to make your wife look crazy, just buy her a whole bunch of narwhal stuffies and then get her a narwhal onesie. And then she looks, she looks insane. It makes you get a picture of her in the narwhal <laughs> outfit in front of all the stuffies. So that's a picture that has not been posted anywhere because. So Yvonne is a bunny and Shannon is a piece of man. <laughs> oh, San Jose picks in. I'm thinking it's the goaltender. But why have we not seen her in that yet? Because that does not need to be on the internet. No. Thank you. No. It's one of those big. Like fleece ones that we could probably. Both and you understand too it. that if if I put that online, somebody would Photoshop my oh, face into it. No doubt. So but, it would be um, me. The kids as the think it's really funny when I randomly one day will just put it on and start doing things around the house, like go cook dinner or whatever. They think it is the funniest thing. And then Adelaide usually has to go get her unicorn onesie. On. And then your Grinch, your Grinch. Oh, outfit. the hoodie. Uh, somebody was wearing that at the AHL game. He wore it to each oh. of the AHL games. Uh, I was like, I know that Grinch outfit. My wife has that. <laughs> so Shannon, will Moscow slash Pullman get an NHL team before Spokane? Oh my gosh. No, that's not possible. Not possible. I don't know how. I don't not know if Spokane. Possible. Nope, it couldn't. Not, I mean, nope. Spokane might work for an AHL team. Spokane don't. could work for an AHL team. You could get 5,000 people a night to a Spokane AHL. Like if if at any point in time Seattle moved their farm team to Spokane, that could work. Can Shannon fit into the narwhal outfit? Well, yeah. with me in it, the ankles might be I, too small, but we could definitely... It's one of those big ones. What are you talking about with ankles? I have the same ankles you do. I know, but both of our ankles wouldn't fit at the same. Whatever. Your ankles have got to be like twice as big as mine. I don't think your so. calf. Look at your calves compared to my calves. I jog. His I jog legs. five miles a day on a treadmill, and I have a one point five percent incline. His legs are so. solid. 
because the I internet just... makes me so self-conscious. Solid. Because the internet makes He's... me so self-conscious. Mm-hmm. I jog on the treadmill five miles uh, every every day that I can. I take off days here and there. But yeah, my legs are kind of... She Solid. laughs because jeans don't fit anymore <laughs> because I can't get them over my calves. <laughs> he does have calves. They're nice. It's, His it's... thighs, pretty nice too. <laughs> it's... Okay, this live stream is taking a turn. Let's try and veer hey, it back sharks, a bit. <laughs> the sharks are up there. They're making their pick. <laughs> huh. There you go. Mad respect on keeping it tight, Shannon. Right? Oh, Quentin Musty. Go. Quentin Musty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he doesn't skip leg day. Every, nice. every day's leg day. Because I, I, don't, I don't lift yeah. weights. So every day's leg day for me. <laughs> uh, okay. Are you guys season ticket holders with Canucks AHL Farm Club team? Yes. Absolutely. Got three season tickets. Yep, yep. <laughs> so usually it's Yvonne with two of the kids that go to the games. That's true. Usually yeah, Gabriel Shannon and Adelaide. doesn't get to go to very many games. I'm gonna try this season though, because the NHL schedule clearly has decided they hate me. So, all right. Uh, on the slower nights, I'm I'm going to go to Abbotsford games. I'm going to go to Vancouver nice. games. The Abbotsford games are really fun. We really like Because this those. past regular season, I was just exhausted a lot of the time. And I know that when I take time to go mm-hmm. to hockey games and just take a little bit of a break, I, I feel better. A lot of people saying, who's Musty? Uh, Musty was actually top 12 on, he was number 12 on the elite pros, elite prospects list. So they were high on him. Uh, most of the other lists had him right about where he gets drafted. So Elite Prospects likes him a lot. Okay. Musty's a great name. It is. That kid has been teased every day of his life. Yeah. There's probably a lot of... Maybe maybe oh, that's why he's good at hockey. Probably. Had to make up for it. Probably. That's why I always say like when people talk about the short ones, like, oh, we're not going to draft him. Coming from somebody who's been short his whole life, I've had to work twice as hard at jobs I've had. So when I see hockey players that are shorter, my first thought is, this guy's had to work harder for everything he's got. I have a lot of respect for that. His jersey says Sharks on the back. So there is, there's no nameplate. There's no nameplate on the last four guys that have gone up They're there. They're not even trying nope, now. Nope, we're done. Nameplates are done. We don't know who's going to be where. We're not making all those mm. nameplates. Screw it. Would you and two- he just left. Would you two ever come to Calgary for a game? I would love to go to Calgary. Calgary's a beautiful city. Logistically, it's really hard for us to go places for a game. This is between the channel and our children. Yeah. It it is very difficult for us to go somewhere for a game. But Calgary's not nearly as far as most other places. Calgary's near next to Banff. Other I know. Beautiful. Banff is the most beautiful place I've ever seen. But, or none. Yeah, it, it is tricky for us to travel, especially during the season because of the channel. And then, yeah, children. Children make everything markers. difficult. Marker's not dying. I switched markers. Mm. Um, You should go to a game in Detroit. Well, that would be even harder. That's really See, far. for us to for us to do something like that, we would have to do like an East Coast swing. And I think for us to be able to do that, it would have to be, I would think, after the boys are grown and out. Yeah, yeah. It would have to be in a situation where <clears throat> it's just us with Adelaide or it's just us. That's the only way that works. Yeah. And we'd have to have a lot less to worry about at home. Right. You can get cheap flights to Calgary. But there's still time and children. So, yeah, I'm sure we could get... I know we can get direct flights because I've, I've, I've flown directly to Calgary, and it's a pretty yeah. short flight. But still, you yeah. can't fly right home that night. You have to wait till the next day. Right. And children. Yeah. How old are our kids? At home, we have a 10-year-old daughter. And then we have two boys that are 16 and 18. But our 18 is um, special needs. So he is not like a teenager. My son and my stepdaughter are both adults. Both on the older side of things. So at home, we have three kiddos. Yeah. 
uh, Adelaide as in guys and dolls. Adelaide as in like Queen Adelaide or Adelaide, Australia. Because I thought it was a beautiful name and it works in French as well. See, so I, that I don't think came into consideration. There aren't enough people to call their kids Spartacus. <laughs> I think there needs to be a movement towards Spartacus. I have pushed for this for decades that there's nothing cuter than Sparty. And I'm even fine with it doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl, it's a name that works for either. You know, where's Sparty? Oh, she's outside. Oh, Spartacus. Like it's just, and then nobody messes with Spartacus. Like if it's a guy named Spartacus, nobody's messing with him. And if it's a girl named Spartacus, you don't know what you're in for. You're like, wait, there's a girl named Spartacus. What's their deal? So, yeah. Come to Vegas for our banner raising ceremony. Well, they That's can on October 10th. schedule it for while we're there. October so 10th. That would work. It's a triple header. It's the first night of the NHL that night. Yeah, that doesn't work. Sadly, no. We're going to be in Vegas in August. All right. Abs are making their pick now. We'll see who the abs take at 27th. <laughs> uh, thoughts on the latest Indiana Jones movie? I'm not really interested. I'm not interested in it. Gabriel Willie wants to go see it. Because I didn't so. like Crystal Skull. And this one doesn't look better than Crystal Skull. So uh. We would absolutely love to be able to travel to Europe. Yes. But again... Time, money, and children. Children kind of make it difficult to do stuff. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> that's that's why I've always advocated for not having children. But <laughs> I tell yeah. our kids that sometimes. I shouldn't have kids. Kids are obnoxious. I don't think I have patience for children. Children can be really annoying. Okay, Callum Mom. Ritchie. Callum Ritchie goes to Colorado. That kid looks so happy to be going to Colorado. I don't blame him either. Ever watch Steve Wallace camping on YouTube? He's near Not you. Not that I know of. There's a lot of people on YouTube near us. We live in one of those parts true. of Canada that everybody's oh, in TV one or YouTube or oh, sorry. all of those things. So I know there's a bunch bunch of youtubers in this area but we don't really know them <laughs> we don't know Ritchie. people see he looks like a kid see we've been doing this live stream so long my allergy meds are wearing off i took extra at the see, beginning so like people wouldn't be complaining about me sniffling mm. do you follow any investing youtubers nope. no no i'm good we've we've got a we've got a financial advisor we're good would you like to meet Gritty? Well, that'd be great. Gritty, yes. yes. That'd be awesome. I need him mm. to officially autograph this. Have you ever been to a Dallas game in Texas? Nope. We really haven't traveled that much. Like most people, we have not traveled a lot. We don't have traveling all over the place Here. money. And, oh, the, okay. Are you guys for, ready for some ridiculousness? <laughs> this thing is huge. <laughs> How ridiculous is that thing? Uh, I can't wait to use that in videos. I don't know how. I don't know what, what I'm going to do, but that's fantastic. But really, we haven't traveled very many places. We've, we've of course, been around BC, Alberta, um, Washington. We've been Oregon. to Idaho, California. Oregon. And then even in California, we've been to... L.A. and Anaheim, which is right next. And to then, each other. of course, we've been to Vegas. And then the one time we crossed the bridge and we touched Arizona, we did. So, but that's it. We really haven't done much traveling. We've been to a game in well, two games in Vegas. We haven't been to lots of NHL games. Um, yeah, you will agree with that. Behind live Minnesota Wild had a red jersey. My favorite. I love the red wild jersey. I really like that one. That one, wasn't that the first jersey I got for you? Yes. Because I really like that one. Yeah, you got me that, and then you got me what effect. Yes, that was the second jersey I got him. Yep. Because he didn't have one. No, I he didn't have a Jets, it. and I didn't have a Minnesota jersey. So I, I had to get him. I do. I really like the, the red wild My jersey. My goal when I met her was to have one jersey <laughs> for every team. 
It used to be really easy to get presents for Shannon. Yep. Now he has everything. Now so I kind of have to tell her this is what I don't have. I don't generally get him hockey stuff unless I know it's something totally different. Like for Father's Day. I think I did pretty good for Father's Day. Because I knew what you haven't been. Like you don't have those. So, Of course you've been to Idaho. Yvonne is from Idaho. No. I was she lived there in most Idaho. of her life. I did not. That is definitely not true. I... See, I call them family. I have family in Idaho, but I'm not actually was, related was to them. Your, was so your... So that's, that's the connection to Idaho. I'm not from Idaho. <laughs> no. Was your cheerleading crew called I was the Lady never, Potatoes? was never a cheerleader. I was in a wheelchair for most of high school. Well, yeah, they called you so wheelie. So that's not what they called me. <laughs> cheerleading wheelie. When you're in a wheelchair, you definitely have nicknames it was not They're not really. complimentary either. <laughs> right, Toronto's making their pick. So a lot of people watching this live stream will be curious because Toronto's making their pick. Shannon's birthday present is a six-pack of Coke. That would be really lame. And yet I would accept that. Do you have a Vancouver Millionaires jersey? Yes. Yeah, we both do. Not, not the one that the team wore back in like the 1900s. But yes, the one they did is the throwback. Absolutely. YouTuber from BC here. Thanks for the hockey coverage. Yeah, see, BC, BC has a lot of people that are. Well, it makes sense. I mean, we good. have we have the kind of weather here where if you wanted to do an outdoor channel and stuff, you could do yeah. that twelve months. A year oh my here. gosh, we have the perfect area yep. for that. Yep, it's beautiful here. Let's go blues, and you can go to so many different kinds of areas: yes. rivers, lakes, ocean, beach, mountains. Yep, yep. You can even go up to to snow all the time because we've got glaciers. So everything. Who, who does Toronto take at 28? Everything, everything. My gritty flag is the size of a door. That one, I think, is that, that one three too foot wide. By five feet. It's yeah, three I by think five. it's too wide for a door. Yeah. Show us your other magnets. I don't think you understand how many magnets we have. I I have I have <clears> a gritty magnet one? too for Philly. Should we I have let's a couple go of gritty blues. magnets. Have you ever been to the Calgary Stampede? No. Nope. <clears throat> they should draft Austin Matthews again. Put him on another entry-level contract, and then they can keep him. Weren't you on the Silver Ladies near Wallace, Idaho? I don't even know where Wallace, Idaho is. I, I don't. Why were you in a wheelchair? Because I was born with twisted legs and extra bones in my ankles. So I had the extra bones taken out when I was 12 and 13. And then when I was 16, they cut the um, lower part of my legs in half and returned them. But I don't heal very well. I still don't heal very well. So nope. on my left leg, I had to have a bone graft. And which is where they take a section of bone out, another part of my leg, and then pleasant. they chop it up into little pieces like like toothpick size, and they put it where they need the bone to heal. And then my other leg, they did an Elazara frame, which is what you see. A lot of times you see people after a car wreck have that halo. It was like that, but it was on my leg. And so my legs are super scarred up, but um, it had that. And so it compressed my leg so that it kind of forced it to heal but it took a very very long time to heal when it was not supposed to take nearly as long it was years so i've yeah i lost count of how many casts i had to have and lots of time in hospital i even got to be in hospital one christmas i mean they made it awesome but still Okay, so Easton Cowan gets drafted by the Leafs. He looks like he's 12, so it might take him a little while to develop. But uh, when you're drafting late in the first round, uh, I'm, of course, kidding. He's 18, but he does not look the same age as that one with the full beard that I, Winnipeg Jets yeah. took. <laughs> They're the same age. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah. isn't it? And he looks like a kid. Look at there, him. Yeah, he looks he looks the same age as the other kids. That one guy just looked really old. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Is this pick Harold Ballard approved? The, you know, 
again, once you're into the late first round, the early second round, you will be looking at players that teams are high on that maybe other teams aren't. So again, after this draft's mm -hmm. done and we're four picks from the end of the first round and the end of tonight, um, you know, I'll, I'll go through and I'll, I'll do a video. It might take a while though for it to post to the channel because I'm, I'm going to go through and look at each pick. Thoughts on Nashville's pick. All right. So Nashville with two picks, uh, Tanner Melendic, uh, Matthew Wood. Matthew Wood is a safe pick at 15. Melendic, I didn't see in first round projections. So this might oh. be seen as a reach by some, but Again, once you get into that late, late first round, you're going to see guys get taken that teams are, are high on. That they're like, we really like this guy. So I will go through all these profiles. I can actually, the hockey prospect book is good because it has actual quotes from NHL scouts. So I can add a quote for each guy. As a new hockey fan, I can't decide which team to cheer for. I'm from Ireland. Not Vancouver because you'll <laughs> never have happiness. Uh, if you want happiness, um, there's there's certain teams that probably won't provide you with a ton. Uh, mm. If you want to get in on the ground level with a team that is going to be pretty darn good at some point soon, I like Buffalo a lot. I like Detroit a lot, too. Um, I, honestly, over the last 24 months, I've kind of found myself really rooting for, for Buffalo. There's all sorts of ways that you can – pick a favorite team we get we actually get that email fairly often i think more often than people i've had would i've guess. had cameos yeah i've had cameos where somebody's we, like can you pick a team for me to we cheer get for? it quite often and there are so many ways that you can pick a favorite team you can pick based off of a player either you really like them as a person you like how they play you think they have a cool name um you can city, pick a team based on the city yeah where they're from the colors of the team, if you like the colors, um, their logo, are they an their underdog? mascot. Do you like a, underdogs? A lot of people pick based on if that they're an underdog or that they've recently won. Um, when I was younger, I always picked off of the goalie helmets because goalie helmets are awesome. True dad. And so whenever I was watching a game, I would look at both of the goalie helmets and I would pick based on that. So there are so many different ways that you could pick favorite team so for me with the minnesota north stars it was the run to the final in 81 made me a fan that was kind of an out of nowhere thing the canucks they're the local team and for the bruins i picked them because andy moog was my favorite goaltender i thought the oilers screwed him over so when he went to boston i was so happy to see him get a chance and mm -hmm. i loved cam neely in vancouver i was excited to see him in boston and the trade worked out really well for them so that's when i became a boston fan Thoughts on all the shark picks so far? Well, the sharks just have the two. So um, Quentin Musty was seen as a guy who could end up going much higher than that. Uh, he's seen as a really solid, pretty safe pick there. And then Will Smith at four. Smith is a very good center, uh, projects to be a top line center in the National Hockey League. I think they've done well for themselves. I uh, love your content. God Thank bless you. the family. Could you tell me a good place in Idaho to visit? There's. I don't know Idaho very well. Check on Henry Winkler because Henry Winkler's doing some of his don't. fishing. He's so happy fishing. He looks so happy when he fishes. I haven't been to very much of Idaho. Um. Don't don't visit Moscow. Henry Winkler's um, fishing pictures are like that's that's my my goal is to be that happy at his age. North Idaho is really pretty if you like mountains and stuff, but it's very different than the mountains here. There's it's yes. drier and the soil is really rocky. So it's very different than here, but they have really beautiful lakes. So if you like the outdoors, North Idaho is really nice. Coeur d'Alene is pretty, though it's really expensive. Um but anything further south than like Moscow and Lewiston, it just gets to desert and not trees and stuff. And I don't, I, I went to Boise once ever. And all I remember is it was really hot and dusty. <laughs> but other than that, I, I don't really know Idaho that well. <laughs> um, She's so but modest. I know Coeur d'Alene. I've, I've spent a bit of time in Coeur d'Alene and Coeur d'Alene's really pretty. And there's, nice lakes but it's expensive so 
there's that. And it's near Spokane, and I really, really don't like Spokane. So, hmm. yeah. And that's all of my Idaho knowledge for you. Idaho is like the Okanagan. Absolutely. It definitely is. So Theo Lindstein goes to St. Hmm. Louis with the number 29 pick. So... Uh, their three picks are Dalibor Dvorsky, Otto Stenberg, and Theo Lindstein. They keep all three, and uh, we'll see. And this is the thing, right? You pick three guys in the first round. It's a deep draft. We may look back at this and say that's when St. Louis transformed the franchise. Possible. Why don't you like Spokane? Uh, it's it's dry, really dry, it's very and dry, hot, dusty, and it's yeah, dusty. It feels really dirty and. I don't like the roads. Because we're we're used to the, There's so the many humidity, pot right? Holes. I know other people don't like the humidity, but that's what we're used to. Yeah. So when we're around that dry air, like when we go to it's Vegas, we have so to watch for our nosebleeds. And because yes. it's just we, we do the, have the air is so dry. Spokane's it seems like so much pavement. It's a lot of pavement. Blacktop cement is just so hot and dry and dusty and for me, there's not much to do there. It's just a really big city, but it's missing the the cool things to do of a big city. I mean, and they have the Chiefs. the The traffic go to hockey games is awful for it just being like you feel like you're kind of in the middle of nowhere, but it's a big city. But there's well, it is no. There's nothing horrible and then construction, you get Spokane, and then there's nothing and after. The tons of potholes. <laughs> Lots of reasons I don't like Spokane. <laughs> Um, what are your thoughts on the pens getting Riley Smith and picking Yager? Uh, Yeager, his projection is, is pretty high. Again, this draft is, is considered to be really, really strong. Um, that's a, that's probably a safe pick for Pittsburgh. I think picking up Riley Smith could be a, a very good move for them. I like Riley Smith as a second liner. Uh, I think he's capable still in, in Pittsburgh. He should produce probably 20 to 25 goals, 50 points. And he usually thrives after he's moved. So I know uh, his first year in, I believe his first year in Dallas, he had really good numbers. Obviously the first year in Vegas, he was out of his mind. So uh, I, I think his production could be really good for Pittsburgh. He's going to be playing uh, likely with Malkin. His numbers could be quite good. But near Spokane is the Gorge Amphitheater, amazing outdoor venue. That is not near Spokane. That is hours away. Just because there's nothing between Spokane and the Gorge does not make it near. No, it just, just means outside. that they're both in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yes, awesome amphitheater. Not near Spokane. I still don't like Spokane. It's like when people suggest to us we could just go up to Kamloops or just go up to Kelowna like it's not a three-hour drive. If to, you're lucky. You know. Yeah. And they haven't closed the highway. Right. <clears throat> yeah, somebody else. <laughs> George isn't near Spokane at all. No, it's ours. But it's, it's right hours next to away. Seattle. So there's that with right. Spokane. Right, yeah. It's closer to Seattle right than near Spokane, Seattle. I'm pretty darn sure, because it's right on the other side of the mountain. Once you get to the mountains, oh. you're closer to Seattle. Carolina's up. <clears throat> Uh, with as hard and as sound as my canes play, does it not pull at your heartstrings a bit that we can't pull it together in the end? Well, see, with Carolina, it, it really has been. This is two playoffs in a row now where everything's there. They just can't get the goals when they need them. So that's something they need to work on this summer. Obviously, going into this this past season, they knew they needed that. That's why they went out and got Patch Ready, who missed most of the season because of an Achilles injury. They need to find another Pacioretty type player and, and cross their fingers and hope he stays healthy. They're not far off. Carolina is ridiculously close. And, and that's, that's where things get frustrating. Uh, how do you feel about all three of the blues picks? So of the three, Lynn Stein's the one that feels like it's, it's more of a reach, but again, we're in the late first round. So, you know, uh, but I, I like Dvorsky quite a bit. Stenberg is a pretty safe pick, too. I, I think they did well. I do. What's the best border crossing to get to Vancouver? Um, assuming, to get to Vancouver? Assuming you're coming Arch? from Seattle. It depends. If you're coming from Seattle, there's or two the crossing, crossing on the highway. 
There's Pacific Crossing, which used to be called the Truck Crossing, and there's P-Search. P-Search usually has way more open, so a lot of times it's quicker. But the Pacific Crossing is sometimes quicker. But now that they have the signs up, it's usually fairly even. But uh, P-Search is prettier, and they're usually pretty close to the same. If you have Nexus, take P-Search because there's multiple lanes. We have Um, Nexus. Pacific usually only has the one, but sometimes it can be a pain to get into the Nexus lane, depending on if people are confused about signs. So Bradley Nadeau gets picked by Carolina. You don't want to take the Alder Grove exit no. to get there. It adds like 40 you're, minutes you're to going your drive. Away and then Though going I back, do see that being recommended sometimes. Don't do it. You're backtracking. Yeah. It's not. That doesn't work. With his and oh, I read that one. Sorry. Oh, it's a long time. <sighs> I knew it would be this. This, yeah. I figured. Well, it'll be three hours. I forget. <laughs> every I forget. time, every time, it always goes really long. So every Bradley. Time. Oh, there's no E in Bradley. Well, that's an interesting way of spelling it. Pure goal scorers seem very rare, like Pacioretty. Yeah, it, but this summer, there's going to be a lot of contracts teams want to get rid of. Uh, so it's a matter of finding a team who wants to get rid of a contract and finding a spot for it on the Canes. So <laughs> I saw Tool in Spokane. It's not a great place. We went to a Five Finger Death Punch concert in Spokane. Yeah, we did. The sound was off. It was, their balance was terrible. Yeah. Remember, because Breaking Benjamin, and we couldn't even recognize the I, yeah. songs. Breaking it was Benjamin so was bad, not, not which is too bad because they're a fun And not band. only that, but um, <clears throat> Wolves. Um, bad Wolves? Bad Wolves were there. Remember, we saw what? them. We saw them, and it wasn't wasn't very good. And then we saw them here in Abbotsford, and it was fantastic. I don't remember that. I just remember yeah. Breaking Benjamin. I couldn't even Bad tell Wolves what Bad Wolves were songs. the opener, and then it was Breaking Benjamin, okay. and then F- Five Finger. Yeah. And Bad not, Wolves were impressed. much better here in Abbotsford than they were in Spokane. They were great Because we've here. seen them twice. That's right. Are they opening for the one that we're going to see now? I think it's just the two bands, isn't it? Is it Hailstorm and Is Volby? there not a smaller? I don't I know. I haven't checked. I think there's three bands. Okay. Where does the Hawks farm system rank now, especially with the uh, four second round picks? Where do they go from here? Potential goalie? There are a lot of goaltenders <clears throat> uh, that are projected to go <clears throat> in the second round. I think it's like three or four. So they're, they're, they will have their pick. And Hrabal has dropped now. I, I don't think that Colorado takes a goaltender I don't think Vegas takes a goaltender either. So, yeah, that should drop Herbal into the second round. I think tomorrow we're going to see some goalies getting taken. We do listen to metal. That is definitely yes. our favorite yes. type of music. I listen to I listen to pop, too. I don't. But she doesn't. I definitely do not. I am, have like a lot Like when we were driving smaller. driving home the other day and they okay. had the I need the to go countdown. take more allergy medicine. They had the countdown right from now. 1984. <laughs> and it was like a countdown that I remember listening to when I was a kid. And it was just, oh, this is great. And I remember all the lyrics to all the songs. It was great singing along. So, all right. So Colorado's up and then Vegas and then that's it with the top 32 and then the first round is finished. So and then I'll put together a video like I said. I'll leave this as it is but I'll add notes to each player. Sorry, it's just getting harder for me to breathe. We are doing a live stream tomorrow. We already have that posted. It's bright and early for us. Yeah. I but, it's yeah, set we have for that one six, posted and same with because that's that's a good time for us. It's not. We're no. usually up by about five thirty. We're not. No, um, so. we usually don't go to bed till about one in the morning. So because hockey, and we just keep that same schedule. Um, yeah, I forget what I was even saying. Oh, and and Canada Day. That one is also posted as well. So yep. we have two more live streams the channel. this week. They are both already posted, so you can yep. see when those will be. Did you get that one? No. No, okay. I always fingers. thought Ivan Moody's best work was in Motor Grader, not Five Finger Death Punch. The former band deserved way more than what they got. Have you listened to his former I band? I have not. <clears throat> oh, goodness. 
You'll have to check that out. Do you like punk? I love the misfits. I I mean, there's there's some punk that I like. Um, Their favorite music is metal and Christian rock. You're not talking about us, are you? I, I wouldn't. Well, I mean, you mentioned Flyleaf. I mean, I guess there are some metal that and we you like listen POD. to are Christian Christian rock, but I would not consider myself a Christian rock. I know, fan. I know more of the Christian contemporary. He stuff does. Than she does. I really don't. No, I really don't. Are you a Jets fan? I am. Him. He's he's catching on. <clears throat> skillet is another good one. She has skillet CD. I do, yeah. My my boys especially like skillet. So does WWE. <clears throat> they use their their music a lot. Dream Theater is great if you don't know them. Shannon likes Dream I have, Theater. I have a Dream Theater. Did you mention CD. them? I haven't mentioned them in this live stream. Oh, no. okay. I thought that's maybe that's why they were brought up. That you Mikhail, Mikhail Guyeo. <sighs> Favorite pick so far that wasn't in the top 10. <clears throat> Favorite pick not in the top 10? That'd be Colby Barlow at 18 to the Winnipeg Jets. She's <clears throat> going to enjoy him. That'd be great. <clears throat> But based on the full beard Christian and everything, Rock pretty well, but nothing currently. I really, really don't. DC Talk, right? I DC Talk when they decided let's sound like Nirvana for an album because they were they were like DC Talk was like rap. They were like Christian, and then all of a sudden for one album, I don't they became Nirvana. For you know the song Jesus Free. I might if I heard it, I'd oh, probably know it. recognize it. But it's it's very Nirvana reminiscent. Slipknot is awesome live. Agree. Seen them twice, and I dragged. I've her seen them once. Yeah, they were fun. Yeah, they're very Pretty good. Pretty soon, Shannon gets to see Tool for the first time. I'm very excited for him because he but hasn't we see seen Volbeat Tool first. That one I'm excited for. They're great. They're such a fun band. They are. They will be really fun live. Um, oh, Corn. I want to see Corn. They are at really Missed high question, top of my list um, for bands that I would like to see. I would think. Corn and Rage Against the Machine are two bands that I have not seen yet that oh, I want to. Thoughts Avenged on Sevenfold. Calgary's pick I would of, like to see as of well. Hanzik. Hanzik's seen as, as a pretty <clears throat> pretty safe pick there. Like I saw Hanzik. He was number 15 on the hockey prospect list. I thought he was on the other ones too. I'm, I'm going to go through each one, but Hanzik I think is a decent pick for the Calgary Flames in that spot. Um, and, and so we'll see how he develops, but I, I think it's a pretty safe pick for NHL games. We have seen games in Vancouver in Vegas and Anaheim. Yes. That's it. We have not seen a game anywhere else. Those are, that's where we've gone. Don't know why Arizona didn't take Michkov in three years when they should start improving and having Michkov come over then would have been great. They have some really good offensive prospects now. Uh, I don't think Arizona's waiting three years to get good. I think the plan is to improve the team within the next couple of years. Uh, and I think that uncertainty with Michkov, plus the fact that apparently the interviews didn't go very well, may have soured them on them. Somebody did a super chat for cat treats. The cats appreciate that. Cats have, uh, I have three containers of cat treats in here. We have one upstairs We just as had well. to buy new cat treats because we were so. running low. The cats tend to, tend to run out. Vegas's pick is in. This will end the first round. So Yvonne can go have a nap because she's <laughs> she's got to <gasps> I need to go make... have a nap by now. Oh, man. I didn't. I was planning on making the kids dinner after this, but it's too late. I'm not making dinner. It's make them breakfast. 730 Try to convince already. them that it's the morning. I was going to barbecue. I need no, to go pick some beets out of the garden. I love beets. You're I have a lot of beets. barbecue beets? I, you cook beets all different ways. I'm going to confiscate the barbecue I love beets. if you're going to make beets. Whatever. On it. Don't touch my barbecue. I'm totally going to go upstairs and touch Don't your touch barbecue. Don't touch my barbecue. I'm going to touch your barbecue. No. Just, 
Touch. You guys go to more music concerts than hockey games? I don't think so. No. No, especially if you consider Abbotsford games. Definitely no. No. We only go to maybe I've only, three concerts a year. We went about. to the two Ramstein concerts last summer. What have we been to since then? I don't know that For we've been concert, to any others. We, we did Trivium. Oh, yeah. Well, then, okay. And then I did Offspring, and I also went to um, Everclear, but you didn't go to those, so that doesn't no. count. I went to two concerts without him. Uh, I know, right? <laughs> but no, I think we go to more hockey games and concerts. I went to two, went two Vancouver games this year just because the schedule. Canucks, mm -hmm. every time they were playing at home, it was a really busy night. Oh, Green Day Live, that would be really fun. Uh, I'm jealous. You've seen Corn four times? Yeah, I've never uh, seen Corn either. I'm not the person to ask about Christian Rock, so I, I don't I don't know. I know very, very little. I don't what music do you like outside of metal? Uh Billie Eilish. Almost anything Billie Hard Eilish rock? has done. <laughs> Um, like I mentioned before, I like Dua Lipa. I because again, when I'm on the treadmill, I like to listen to music that's upbeat. Uh, what I else don't. do I have in there? And then there's old stuff like I love Super Tramp, she's not a big Super Tramp fan. Um, Hailstorm is amazing live. Hailstorm is agreed. We get a steam again soon. Yeah, when we were going to see Volbeat, I was like, well, I guess we'll get tickets probably in the back. I don't and really then, care where we and sit. then they announced Hailstorm, and I sent that to Shannon, and I was like, look it. And all of a sudden, I got really good tickets, because I was like, <laughs> okay, so we want to be close to the stage. Three Days Grace is super fun live, but I also yes. really, really like Three Days Grace. They are one of my absolute favorites. Hey, Ed so Storm, Ed a lot rounds out the first round. Live, they are amazing. I Yeah, but I really like Three Days Grace. They're one of my favorites. Um, Falling in Reverse is really fun. They're a good band. Okay, David Edstrom <laughs> ends up rounding out the first round. People are always surprised at how little trades there are in the first round. I remember this in previous years. Yep. Tomorrow, I am sure we will see more... Yes. Trades. Yes. There will be there will be trades tomorrow and throughout the summer. Teams are going to want to get mm -hmm. under the cap. Teams are going to be trying to make sure that they're in the best position possible uh, to win. And there will be teams that decide to tank, although not like this year. This year, everybody was tanking for a shot at Bedard. There is not a Bedard level talent in next year's draft. Uh, so I don't expect the same level of tanking next season. A oh, system of a down would be awesome live too. Oh, they'd be fantastic. Yeah, that'd be a fun one. Yes. There's a lot of fun ones. Surge is still still they they haven't replaced yeah. Surge, have they? Er, or did he I go know on his own? We were talking about it recently, weren't they? Because Surge's voice is absolutely. I'm pretty sure I could be off wrong, the but... off the charts. But anyways, <clears throat> uh, so there we go. Uh, we're done the first round. We will be back in the morning to get through rounds two through seven, Brightly. or as far as we go through it. Uh, oh, so we'll be Lincoln back in Park a little over and Metallica. Hours. I've seen them both and they were together. I haven't seen either of them. It's awesome. So, I have. Um, I wanted to see Metallica Great. at one point. I couldn't couldn't get to that concert. I, we I weren't had to, together at right? the time. I had to so. go down to Seattle. I, I yeah, forget. I never had a chance. It was like in 2000, maybe 2001. And it was Linkin Park, Metallica, Limp Biscuit. I tell you how long ago that was, and there was somebody else. Devin Townsend's in town on July twenty first. Oh. So, but again, uh, we're isn't that the same night we're seeing Volby? I don't remember isn't what day. July 21st I'm, I'm getting mixed Volby? up on days for everything. I'm taking the kids to. Uh, they've got Aladdin. The Broadway show is coming to Vancouver, so that'll be super fun. Deftones are awesome. I really like Deftones. Mudvayne's awesome too. I've never seen either one of them live. No. See, yeah, when we start beats on the twenty second. Can see all of the. So it's tons one day before Volbeat. But anyways, guys, uh, we should get going. I got to get get this this video all set up mm. on what we saw in the first round and which teams might have reached and which ones didn't. But uh, thanks, guys, for coming out, and I hope to see you guys again tomorrow for 
rounds two through seven of this. And remember, on July, the first, July the 1st, it's another early live stream for Free Agent Frenzy. And Yvonne and I will be wearing different jerseys because that's what we do. We don't so, always wear the same one. Anyways, uh, there you go. Thank you guys for coming out. And we will talk to you again mm. very, very soon. Oh, yeah. have some reasons. They wanted to point out that you called Vegas winning the cup three years ago. Yep, there you it's go. Hockey power. Yeah, that was that was weird. Anyways, guys, thanks for coming out. And we will see you again in the morning.